Hello everyone, this is the 2020 update to my Blu-ray collection. I'm just going to get started right away. Um, the collection has grown substantially. Um, this is the first new pickup that I have, American Pie Presents Bandcamp. Gotta rewatch this one. I like the main series. I'm not sure if I liked these sequels as much. Um, start off with my Funkos. There's Audrey Hepburn from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Uh, the Two Bells, Beat and the Beast. And Alexa Bliss. So I'm going to move things out of the way. Uh, around in real time and then see if that works everything is really cluttered because i have a small space for all this but i'm gonna try to do the best i can so first i have the audrey Hepburn um three film collection which has breakfast at tiffany's funny face and sabrina um i love all films she's one of my she's probably my favorite actress actually so i'm just happy to have anything from her honestly and that's why i have war and peace um not not the greatest film it's it's a bit long uh, easy to lose focus in that one, but you know, I have that. And then I have Avatar. The um, I know this one came with an extra slip cover, but um, uh, yeah, this film is a bit overrated. I'm not a big fan of this, but uh, it just feels like something to have in the collection. I'm not excited for the six or seven sequels or whatever is coming out for it. Um, this is a new pickup that I also received yesterday, Jojo Rabbit. Saw this one in theaters, and I absolutely loved it. Um, yeah, I thought it was a great film. Really good blend of comedy and drama in this one. Love that one. Then I have Alien, the full six-film collection. It has Alien, Alien 2, Alien 3, Resurrection, uh, Prometheus, and Covenant. The first two are fantastic. Three and four, you know, they're okay. I didn't... I liked Prometheus, Thought it was uh, ambitious. It looked really nice in the cinemas. Covenant, I didn't really like. Um, but, you know, you want to have all of them in the collection, right? And then we have the Alfred Hitchcock Ultimate Collection. Um, it's going to be hard to kind of read down everything that's in here. But this has a huge number of Alfred Hitchcock films. One of my favorite directors of all time. Um, a lot of his films are very rewatchable. Um, this has all the main films of his as well i have some other titles of his that are just lingering around solo so we'll get to those later the back to the future 30 uh 30th anniversary trilogy has all three uh i need to rewatch these but um obviously they're they're classics i have the three film collection m night Shyamalan's um east trail 177 trilogy which has glass split and unbreakable i love unbreakable and i think split was pretty good uh glass was a little disappointing but you know um it's good to just get the whole set while while you can i have this wizard of oz steelbook this one came out pretty recently this is one of my favorite films of all time probably in my top top 10 um it's such a classic i had to update this edition a few times and then finally found a steelbook for it so really like that one this is also a fairly new um, update to the collection. Slumber Party Massacre Steelbook. Um, saw this a while back. I like the Steelbook, so I'm going to rewatch this and see see if I like it. I saw this one in theaters, The Art of Self-Defense. Uh, I thought this was fantastic. Uh, it's a real dark comedy. Not, ex not exactly what you would expect from a film, but it's, it's really great. Sleeping Beauty. I'm trying to get all the classic Disneys on Blu-ray, and then they had the Sleeping Beauty Steelbook. And, you know, it's a classic. Uh, they kind of re-updated it modern day with, like, a different tale with the Maleficent series. But, you know, this is a very nice steelbook. I like that one. The Twilight Zone complete complete original series. Um, these film, these, um, this series is fantastic. I love this. Uh, it has all 156 original episodes. This is a really good set if you're a fan of the show. And it's a worthy addition to the collection. Another worthy addition to the collection is the Before Trilogy uh, by Richard Linklater. Before Sunrise, Sunset, and Midnight. All three are fantastic. I can't really pick one. Something I need to rewatch. Um, and that I will hopefully be rewatching soon. Um, yeah. So let me just move these out of the way and then I'll carry on. Okay, so I'm going to start with the films on top. Um, these were alphabetized at one point, but uh, since there's an overflow, they're not really so much anymore. Uh, here's one I really enjoyed, a Steven Soderbergh film, recorded on the iPhone, I believe. Um, this is Unsane with Claire, Fay, Claire Foy. Really wonderful, kind of thrilling film. I really like that one. Then I have the original VHS, which is like an anthology of horror films, uh, horror segments. Uh, 
a few of them are pretty good in this. Uh, I think it was worth having, especially something to watch uh, Halloween time. One of my favorite films of all time and one of the best Zack Snyder films, the director's cut of Watchmen. Um, I know a lot of people have criticisms of this, but I've read the graphic novel and I love the graphic novel. Um, and I thought this came pretty close or as good as a live adaptation of it can be. Um, I also like the show that's on HBO. It's like a different take. Um, I really like this film. Here's a really good uh, coming of age film with The Way Way Back. I'm a big fan of Anna Sophia Robb, so um, this film was really enjoyable for me. Uh, it's directed by one half from uh, Jim Rash, I believe, from Community. But it's, so it's a good film. This one was a little expensive and hard to find. Um, True Romance. Uh, this is a Tony Scott film written by Quentin Tarantino, and it has all the markings of a Quentin Tarantino film. Really wonderful film, True Romance, love it. One from the Criterion Collection, Two Days, One Night with Marianne Cotillard. Um, this is a fantastic film if you haven't seen it. Now a lot of people know about it. She got nominated for an Academy Award, I think, for this. It's really good. As I mentioned earlier, I'm a big Audrey Hepburn fan. So this is Two for the Road. Um, really good film, told in like uh, different phases. So you have to kind of see which t which time period you're at and you can usually tell by how her hair changes in the film the umbrellas of cheerborg um this is a really good uh musical with catherine uh Deneuve. uh really wonderful film under the skin scarlett johansson in a much more different type of role uh it's a trippy little sci-fi film i've only seen it once i do want to see it again this one is, let's do this one first, V for Vendetta, classic film, um, Natalie Portman is great in this, uh, I read the graphic novel, I wasn't so big on it, however the film was really good, fantastic. Uh, this is a shout, Scream Factory film, Valentine, uh, I actually rewatched this recently, it has like that uh, early 2000s, late 90s horror, horror feel to it, which I really like, um, I feel like it's nostalgic, and this is uh, quite a, quite in that wheelhouse. Uh, the Cornetto Flavors Trilogy, I think that's what it's called, The World's End, Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead, all three are pretty good, um, I think I might like The World's End best though, but you know, this is a worthy addition to the collection. Another Criterion, Valley of the Dolls, um, I quite like this film, I like the way it's shot, I think it's, it's like a beautiful film, uh, if you haven't seen it, if you're a film fan, watch it. Vanilla Sky, uh, this one's a fairly new pickup as well, Tom Cruise. Long film, but uh, trippy. The it, it it doesn't go where you think it would go, and it's a Cameron Crowe film. I didn't like uh, Venom too much, to be honest. Um, you know, uh, it was just a uh, yeah, it's just something to have on Steelbook, I think. The Virgin Suicides. I'm a big fan of Sofia Coppola. I think I have all of her films actually on Blu-ray. Um, when this came out on Criterion, I knew I had to get it because I really, really like this film. Videodrome. Uh, David Cronenberg, another Criterion film. I uh, love this film. I usually watch it around Halloween. Uh, David Cronenberg is also one of my favorite uh, directors of all time. As you can tell, I love Audrey Hepburn. This is actually one of my favorite films from her, Wait Until Dark. It's a thriller and she plays like a blind woman in it, getting robbed um, in real time. This is a really good film. Move these out of the way. Well, these are sort of in order. So there's X-Men X-Men First Class, X-Men Days of Future Past. I like both of these films. Um, the way they went with the prequels and X-Men, I think it really worked. X-Men Apocalypse Steelbooks. The Steelbooks, the Steelbook for this is really nice. Um, not such a great film, but uh, you know. Not the worst X-Men film after Dark Phoenix came out. I have that somewhere. I don't know where it is. Young Frankenstein. Um, Mel Brooks film. Probably the only Mel Brooks film I have in my collection, but this is Gene Wilder at its best. Zero Dark Thirty. Uh, Jessica Chastain. Uh, this is... Uh, I really like this film. Um, I think it deserved all the praise that it got. Zodiac. The director's cut on steelbook uh one of my favorite if not my favorite david fincher films 
Um, this is, I also read the book as well. I'm a big fan of this, um, of Zodiac. Uh, we have a four pack, Wedding Crashers, Horrible Bosses, Hall, Hall Pass, and Dumb and Dumber. I got this mainly for Wedding Crashers, but I also like Horrible Bosses. Whiplash on Steelbook, one of the best films of, uh, whatever year it came out. I'm not really, I don't really remember what year it came out, but, um, J.K. Simmons is fantastic in it, and I like music, uh, driven movies so this was really good i think it needed more love um at the academy awards that year but you know they don't always get things right the wolf of wall street martin scorsese one of the best directors of all time leonardo dicaprio is fantastic in this film this is a one-time watch however because it is super long looks like i have two wizard of Oz's. um i gotta probably get rid of this one probably sell it A uh, neat little horror film, Vac Vacancy, with Luke Wilson and Kate Beckinsale. Um, I think the premise for this is really good. Uh, so, fun film to watch. I think this is a Canadian edition of The Witch, The Steel Book. I love this film. Uh, Anya Taylor Joy is actually one of my favorite actresses going today. I'm actually going to watch Emma later tonight, um, and I think she's fantastic in this. This is a slowly creeping horror film, but I love The Witch. I think it's fantastic. Underworld Collection. I only really like the first first one, and I kind of like the second one, but mainly for the first one. But uh, my, you know, the Steelbook came out with all of them, so I just decided to get it. One of the so bad, it's good. Actually, no, this is the this is the original Wicker Man, um, which is really good. Uh, I like this one, the one with Christopher Lee, um, and then you had the two thousand six update with uh, Nicholas Cage, which was terrible. But in a so bad, it's good way. So quotable. Um, Nicholas Cage never changed, man. Steve McQueen's uh, latest um, update to his filmography, Widows. Uh, I, I like this film. I only seen it once, but I need to see it again. Uh, some really good performances all around. Um, Widows, yeah, it's a good film. David Lynch is actually my favorite director of all time. When they released this one from Shout Select, Wild at Heart, I had to get it. Love this film, Nicolas Cage, Laura Dern. This is so good. One from the childhood. This is actually a digi book, so it's a really cool addition. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, Gene Wilder at his best. All right, so I'm gonna move some of this out of the way and then just continue. Okay. So this is um, the five films: Golden Age of Erotica, Five Years. Uh, I think volume. Well, there's two volumes of them. Um, I have both of them here. 10 Cloverfield Lane. Um, I'm a big fan of Cloverfield. So this one was quite good. Um, I hated the Cloverfield Paradox, but um, I think this was like a different, in the same universe, but different type of film. Thought it really worked. One of my favorite films of all time, 12 Angry Men. Um, about 12 jurors. Uh, having been on jury duty, I thought this was an amazing film. Uh, definitely worth a rewatch. I'm a big Elle Fanning fan, so 20th Century Woman is one that I picked up. I really like the screenplay for this one. It has a good cast as well. This one is uh, one to watch if you have not done so. I'm also a very big fan of it. Uh, Anna Kendrick, so a simple favor. Um, it's a bit cheesy and, st and such at times, but I thought it was a good Paul Feig film. A simple favor. Three film collection, Van Wilder. Um, Waiting and Adventureland. I got this mostly for Waiting and Van Wilder, both of which I like. Um, yeah, really, I think this is a good uh, triple collection. I've seen Adventureland, I need to watch it again. I just realized this is actually a Ryan Reynolds triple feature then. Yeah. Classic 80s film, Adventures in Babysitting uh, with Elizabeth Sue, I think. Yes. I really like this film. Um, if you haven't seen it, watch it. It's, it's a really, really well-made film. Airplane and Airplane, the sequel. Um, Airplane and sequel kind of treads the same ground that Airplane did, but uh, I I love Airplane. I think it's set set the spoof films apart. Like it really put it really laid the groundwork for them. Airplane is fantastic. The Diamond Edition of Aladdin, which I want to update to the new Steelbook that came out, but um, this is a classic. Aladdin is uh, yeah, love this film. I also really like the. Uh, Update. It's here somewhere. I just haven't alphabetized, so I'll, you'll get. To, we'll get to it. 
the 60th anniversary of Alice in Wonderland. I really like the packaging of this one. Um, I'm also a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland, the story. Um, I've read the book. I've, uh, you know, I, I like this Disney update, which is why I also have uh, the Johnny Depp version, the live action one. I think this one was, wasn't too bad. Um, obviously, they could be better. Same with the Through the Looking Glass. Not as good, but there's things in it I like, you know. I like that world that is set. A digi book of All About Eve. I think I got this really cheap. Saw this in a film class. Uh, I think it's fantastic. Betty Davis is amazing in it. A UK edition of Almost Famous, extended edition. It works in this region, which is great because this is a really great film by Cameron Crowe. Very memorable. I love Almost Famous. I'm gonna love all these films because I have them on my in my collection. So Amadeus, the director's cut. A uh, really great film about Wolfgang Mozart. Um, I need to watch this again. It's a Miles Foreman film, but um, this is really great. I think I got this at a good price as well, the Digibook. These Digibooks look fantastic these days. Another, so there you go, fantastic film. Um, Sam Mendes' American Beauty. I uh, love this film. Uh, there's, it's just so memorable. It deserves all the praise that it gets. We're going to get into a few American titled films. American Honey. <coughs> with Shia LaBeouf and Sasha Lane in her first film. Love this film. I um, think it's it's really, really good. Um, it's not one that a lot of people have heard of, but Shia LaBeouf is fantastic in this. He's just a good actor all around. American Hustle, uh, David O. Russell's, one of David O. Russell's films. Uh, I think it deserves the praise that it got. It's really well put together. Amy Adams is like very, very attractive in this film. I love this uh, American Psycho, one of the best Christian Bale performances ever. I also love the book. Uh, the book's a little more twisted than the movie, but uh, American Psycho is a wonderful film. I love getting going back to this film over and over. I had Bang Camp earlier, and I have the other four film collection, American Pie, American Pie 2, Wedding, and Reunion. Um, all of them are pretty good, I would say. I'm not sure I have a favorite, but I think three might be the weakest in that fourth film. I have all of the MCU films, but I have not separated them the way other people do. But here is the Ant-Man, the first Ant-Man uh, steelbook. I like this film. Um, <coughs> Paul Rudd is a really charming actor. I think he's fantastic in Ant-Man. And then Ant-Man and the Wasp, the steelbook. Yes, uh, I like the sequel as well. It was a nice little um, departure from the serious tone of Avengers Infinity War. <coughs> The Apartment, a classic film with Shirley MacLaine. Um, I have not watched this in a while. <coughs> Sorry about that. I had a coughing fit from talking so much. The Apartment, which is a really good film. Um, I've seen this once, but I thought it was a. It's a really well-made comedy film. I remember paying a lot for this one because it's very rare now. Uh, Mel, Gib Mel Gibson's Apocalypto, I think his best directed film. I think this film is absolutely amazing. <laughs> about the Native American tribes and um, kind of like sacrifice, the human sacrifice. This is a fantastic film. I love it. Another fantastic film, Francis Ford Coppola's Apocalypse Now. Um, this is There's a Redux version, which I don't think I've seen, and this is something that needs to be rewatched, but this is a really good steelbook. You'll see that I have a lot of steelbooks in my collection. I love steelbooks. Here's another steelbook, Arrival, Denis Villeneuve. Uh, I'm gonna mess up his name, so you know who I'm talking about. But um, Arrival came out on Steelbook. I thought this was a really good um, film. Amy Adams is fantastic in it. Very well acted. Very creative script as well. <clears throat> I loved Atomic Blonde. Um, the Steelbook is also pretty nice. Charlie Theron's great in it. It's like a female John Wick, if you will. Um, they made a few films kind of similar to this with a spy who kicks ass, but uh, Atomic Blonde is great. The Avengers, the original Avengers, and then Age of Ultron. I like both of these films. Um, both of these releases are also really nice. Avengers is better than Age of Ultron, but the MCU, you know, you can pick and choose. They're all fantastic in a way. Uh, everything's going out of order now. Not like anything is really in order. This is Infinity War, the steelbook. A oh, fantastic steel book right here. Um, really liked Infinity War. Loved Endgame as well. Endgame is here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. Baby Driver, the steel book. Edgar Wright's best film, in my opinion. Um, Ansel Elgort is great in this. Thought the music was great. The car 
car driving, the action scenes in this were really great. <clears throat> I really like this release of Barbarella, Queen of the Galaxy, uh, with Jane Fonda. This is a pr okay film. It's not anything amazing, but the steelbook itself was really worth a pickup. Basic Instinct with Sharon Stone. Uh, I think this is a, like a good um, kind of erotic thriller film. I have Basic Instinct too, believe it or not, somewhere. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. Guess I'm a completionist. Batman Begins. Um, the original film in the Christopher Nolan trilogy that came out, Batman Begins, Steelbook. I like that film quite a bit. The Dark Knight, which is obviously fantastic because of this guy, Heath Ledger as the Joker. Um, really wonderful comic book film, one of the best ever. And I think a worthy sequel. A lot of people don't like Dark Knight Rises as much. I thought it was pretty good. I'm happy to have all three on Steelbook. If you're wondering, I do have the Batman collection. The original films, like the Tim Burton and Joe Schumacher ones, they're somewhere. I, I don't know where anything is. <clears throat> Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, Zack Snyder um, film. I didn't notice too much difference between the Ultimate Edition and the regular one. So I didn't care so much for the, you know, whatever extended stuff they had. But um, this is okay. It's not the greatest, but it introduced us to Wonder Woman, who I really like, actually. Um... A lot of people don't like this film, but I loved it. Uh, Baywatch. But it just has a good cast. I think it was funny. Um, I love Kelly Rohrbeck. I actually met her a few times before she kind of went into film. Talked to her about this film as well. She's great. Uh, I like that film. The original Beauty and the Beast. My favorite Disney of all time. This is the... I think they're releasing steel books of this one recent, recently. It's coming out or whatever the case is. But I think I'm content with this edition right here. And I'll keep it the way it is. And then Beauty and the Beast, uh, the steelbook of the live-action one with Emma Watson, which I liked almost as much as the original. I think it was a good adaptation. Disney's doing a good job with these adaptations, I would say. Bean the movie, Mr. Bean, Rowan Atkinson. This is fantastic. Um, it's a good pickup. I watched, rewatched it the other day. He's always funny. One of Tim Burton's weirdest films, Beetlejuice. Um, I really like the steelbook. Michael Keaton is actually pretty good in this. Uh, Tim Burton's kind of hit and miss for me, but um, this one is one of the ones that I enjoy. And then I have a four film <clears throat> collection from Tim Burton, Beetlejuice again, Sleepy Hollow, uh, Corpse Bride, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So I have Beetlejuice and Sleepy Hollow separate, but um, Corpse Bride is one that's there. And I really mainly got this for the remake of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp, which I don't like that much, but... Um, I find myself going to it. This is not a bad four film collection to have anyways. Begin Again. One of the better musical, modern day musical type films. Uh, the music in this is fantastic. I think the leading cast has so much chemistry. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the same director who did Sing Street, which I like even more. But Begin Again is so good. Sofia Coppola's The Beguiled, which is a remake. I love this film. Of course, I love Elle Fanning. I'm a big fan of Kirsten Dunst, and I love Sofia Coppola. Um, the Beguiled, I've only seen it once, but um, I remember really liking it. Another film I really, really like, Bella de Jour. Catherine Deneuve is in this film. Um, this is a really good um, Criterion release. Wonderful one to have. Big Eyes, another different type of Tim Burton film, different from what you would expect from him, but um, really well acted. It's more like a biopic type film, but I, I really love Big Eyes. I've seen this like three times already. Another one of my favorite films of all time by Darren Aronofsky, uh, Black Swan. Um, I love Natalie Portman in this. I love the story of this. I love the ballet sequences in this. This is a really good psychological thriller. <clears throat> I love the Blade Runner films, um, really Scott's first one, the final cut, I don't know which version I've seen, it might not have been this one even, but um, Blade Runner is one to have in your collection no matter what. And then 2049 I've seen in theaters, I love this film, um, Ryan Gosling is one of my favorite actors, this film was so beautiful in the cinema and I, this steelbook is one of my favorite ones in the collection. More Sofia Coppola, The Bling Ring. I really like this film. This is this is based on the true story of, um, I guess, those kids who were stealing from celebrities, uh, breaking into their homes and stuff and partying. Good film. Um, I'm a big fan of Emma Watson and Sofia Coppola, so worth having. Blue Jasmine. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of Woody Allen films. However, Blue Jasmine was... Um, I'm not a fan of Woody Allen in general, but... Um, 
Blue Jasmine was really good. Kate Blanchett is so good in this. We deserved her Academy Award. Blue is the warmest color. Um, this is a film with Leah Sedo. Um, I'm not gonna say the other name, but wonderful uh, kind of like lesbian affair type film. Blue is the warmest color. So good. Very X-rated. Blue Valentine, another really wonderful film about relationships. Uh, this one is more depressing though. Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams, both who are fantastic in it. Um, I love this film so much. All right, so I'm gonna take a little break and then get to the next roll. All right, so we're getting into the second roll right now. Let's start with the Funkos. Um, start off with Chucky. Um, I'm a huge Chucky fan. Let me see if I can show you this without knocking anything over. But I have two replica um, Chucky dolls. Actually, I have three. There's one hiding back here as well. Put a little hat on him. But I love Chucky. Um, this is Lexa from The 100. Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. Daenerys from Game of Thrones and Supergirl. So let's get into this role. Let me just move these little guys out of the way. Okay, I guess I could start talking about the Child's Play collection, the Chucky collection. I'm a big fan of all of these films. Um, Seed of Chucky, not so much, but I, I'm, I just love Chucky. I think it's a wonderful horror film. And this collection right here is fantastic. Love this, love this a lot. Alright, so and then I have this Child's Play. Um, I know I have it in the rest of the collection as well. However, this was the first one I bought. I like the cover, so I'm deciding to keep it. Cannibal Holocaust. Um, I actually don't like this film very much. Um, I think it's a little overrated and too much shock value and killing all the animals and stuff. But the release is really nice, I think. Um, so I just have it in my collection. Oh man, this would have gone good with the original Creepshow. So I do have both Creepshow. So Creepshow 2, um, this Arrow release, I love it. I think it's a fantastic release. I don't like this one as much as the original Creepshow. However, this is a really nice release. Uh, a Church is one of my favorite bands. Um, a cassette of one of the albums, Love is Dead. Uh, I have really no use for it because it's a... Uh, I don't have a tape player, record, uh, cassette player, but uh, it's a nice little... Memorabilia. Die Hard uh, collection has all five films. Uh, the fifth one is absolute shit, but the first three I like quite a bit. Fourth one I thought was pretty decent. Uh, Captain America, the first Avenger steelbook. I like these new uh, Marvel steelbooks that came out. Got picked up a lot of titles that I didn't have when that happened. Uh, Captain America is good. I like that film. I like that series. I have the other ones somewhere. We'll get to them. Wonder Woman steelbook. Uh, I like having this one on display with the Funkos. This is a really good film. The best in the DCEU. Um, I do watch the show Supergirl. I don't love it. Uh, it's It's gone downhill. Not very good. But this second season had a nice kind of animated cover that matched that one. And I have the Funko, so I just bought it. It's a waste of money, really. I'm never going to watch it. Oh, here is one that is not a waste of money that I was starting to rewatch, although I lost track. Um, the James Bond collection. This has... All of them, up to Spectre, I believe, yeah. So this is really good to have in your collection. I love James Bond. I like. I pretty much will make an excuse for any of the films. I really like James Bond. Uh, the new one, No Time to Die, I'm excited for it. Uh, I have like four of these somewhere. I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan, so this is like the deluxe, deluxe edition of her album. This is not a Blu-ray. This is just like a deluxe CD. Um, but yeah, I have Lover there. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo original trilogy. Um, I really like these films. Um, the first one is obviously the best. The second two is not too bad. I saw these extended versions only, but um, I like them. I like them a lot. Uh, oh, one of my favorite films of all time, Phenomena. I watch this every Halloween because I love this film. Dario Argento's Phenomena. This is such a nice steel book. Um, I have the I have Suspiria on steel book as well, the original one, and I, those two I just watch every Halloween. All right, uh, I'm just gonna move these out of the way and then hopefully get this done quick. <clears throat> need some of these. This is the worst part of it, just moving things around. All right, let's start with this uh, up row here. The family, I got this really cheap, like probably $1, $2. Uh, I thought it was an okay film, not too bad. I liked Diana Agron in this film. Um, you know, whatever. 
Amelie, a French film. Um, I think it was nominated for a few Academy Awards. This is actually a really good, well-made film. Um, I got this really cheap as well. Also, I did not even open it, so... Um, but I've seen it. It's a good film. Another one I got really cheap. I think this is the role of cheap cheap buys for me. Uh, phone booth. Joe Schumacher's film, Colin Farrell. I rewatched this recently. It's still as good, still as intense as it ever was. I like this film. One of the best comedies I've seen in recent time, Game Night. Yeah, this is so funny. Jason Bateman is so funny in this. Everything about it about this film is just so rewatchable. I really like this film. Another one I picked up pretty cheap, but um, I actually really like this film as well. Shakespeare in Love, Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, what's his name? Uh, Joseph Fiennes. This is a really good film. Um, I think it deserves the praise that it got. I know a lot of people were not happy with it winning everything that it did. The Black Dahlia. Uh, I think I got this one pretty cheap as well. This was... This is more of an interesting story than movie, but, uh, you know, for a 2006 type film, it's not too bad. One that I really liked, Annihilation, by the director of Ex Machina. Um, I forgot his name, maybe Alex Garland, but a wonderful film. Natalie Portman is so good in it. I love the script for this. It's trippy. It's, re it's so creative, though. One of the best um, South Korean films I've ever seen. I do have Parasite somewhere as well, so I do have that one, and I love that one as well. But Burning was so good. It has um, Steven Yoon from The Walking Dead. Oh my god, this film. I saw this in the cinemas. I was thinking about it for so long afterwards. Um, if you like foreign cinema or just like good cinema in general, Burning, one to watch. Here's another one to watch as a guilty pleasure, Gods of Egypt. I actually really like this as a guilty pleasure. I, it's so stupid, it's so bad. Jar, Jar Butler just chose the scenery, but um, I have a lot of guilty pleasure films that I own. Scary Movie, the only one that I will own just because it spoofs Scream, and I'm a big Scream fan, but um, I, don't, I don't think much of these films, sorry. Showgirls, um, I think I picked this one up cheap. Um, I, just, I, you know, I don't mind Showgirls. Uh, kind of like an erotic film. Uh, Kind of stupid plot, but uh, not not whatever, whatever. It's whatever. It is what it is. Nightcrawler, really good film with Jake Gyllenhaal in one of his most fantastic performances. Uh, this is a really good addition. I was happy to get this with a slipcover. I kept waiting to get it with a slipcover, but uh, one I should rewatch. Probably the only Tyler Perry film I'll have in my collection, Acrimony, which I I really like this film. Um, Taraji P Henson is good in it. Uh, I think it was just like a fun first time watch seeing this film unfold the way it did. I like this film. One that I've seen a while ago, and I know I like, um, because I love Brian De Palma. He's actually one of my favorite directors. But Carlito's Way, I don't remember it too well. But um, it's one that I will rewatch, and I know I like. It. I know it's gonna be a good addition in my collection because I like it. Um, I will not pronounce his name, but the director of Call Me by Your Name uh, first came out with a bigger splash, which is so good. I really like this film. Um, look at the cast; it's such a really good cast. I love Dakota Johnson as well. National Treasure, um, this is, uh, no, it's not a double pack, okay. So the original National Treasure, I like this film, it's kind of stupid, but, you know, Disney and Nicolas Cage, it works out for me. I actually very much dislike this film. Uh, I like Kevin Smith in general, I don't think I own a lot of his stuff, but Yoga Hosers is horrible. Um, it has his, uh, his daughter and, uh, Johnny Depp's daughter. But um, yeah, uh, this was just terrible. I don't know what they were thinking with this, and I actually don't know why I have that. Here's one that I really liked, Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene. Kind of like a cult-driven uh, film with Elizabeth Olsen getting out of a cult and the effects that that's had on her. This is uh, one a lot of people haven't heard of, but everybody knows Elizabeth Olsen, so just watch it. And there you go, Basic Instinct 2. Don't know why I have it. I think the release is just kind of nice. I like the slipcover. I have the first one, Completionist. Probably that's what it is. Gangs of New York, Martin Scorsese's film. I've seen this, I've rewatched it recently with um, Daniel Day Lewis, who is fantastic, Leonardo DiCaprio, Cameron Diaz. Uh, I like Gangs of New York. Here's a questionable one in my collection, I guess uh, Aquamarine. I like this film because I really like Sarah Paxton um, and Emma Roberts. It's, a, you know, it's like a lighthearted mermaid film. Why not? I, ha I You'll see that I like a bunch of different types of films. I don't really pick and choose genres. So if I like it, I'll get it. Here's one that I liked. Even though I don't like the release, I got this used. Probably came from the library, but High Rise is so good. Tom Hiddleston, the director of Free Fire. 
I believe is this one. This is so good. Um, watch this film. Another steel book that I really like, Van Helsing. A uh, good Halloween time film with Hugh Jackman and Kate Beckinsale. So this is uh, The Dreamers. Um, yeah, this is The Dreamers uh, by Bernardo Bertolucci. Uh, I love this film. I love uh, Eva Green, but this does not have a US release. So I had to get this from Germany or something, but it works fine here. So that's that's a plus. Poseidon, uh, 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 like kind of like a everything just fell. Okay, so kind of like a disaster film based on in the water about a sinking ship. Poseidon, pretty good, um, kind of cheesy type film. It's fine. Oh god, uh, Pompeii, Pompeii. Uh, I don't really like this film, but um, I like Emily Browning. Um, I kind of like disaster films. I like uh, old times Italy, Roman, Greek type films. So there you go. That's why I have that one. It's not very good. Here's one that is quite good. Uh, Grand Budapest Hotel. Um, Wes Anderson has a nice style to what he does. This has a wonderful cast. This is a really good film. There is a Criterion coming out. I don't know if I will get it though because I already have this. Then it's I'm fine with this release. Let me just move these out of the way and then we'll move on. So there's one I forgot there. Uh, I don't know why I forgot it. The favorite. Fantastic film. I think Olivia Coleman deserved her Academy Award for this. Emma Watson, Rachel Wise is in this too. Really wonderful film period piece funny one as well okay so let's start with this row big trouble in little china this was a um one of those new releases with these new slip covers john carpenter classic film kurt russell black panther um people say it, well it is a little overrated i think but um what it did for culturally and like but in the box office was fantastic um i, I like this film i have no problems with black panther I love this film, Brian De Palma, Body Double from Twilight Time. This was, I think, a harder release to find as well. This is my favorite De Palma film, one of the best, one of my top 20 films for sure. I love that film. Another one I really like, Bonnie and Clyde. Seen this a few times with uh, Faye Dunaway and Warren Beatty. This is a wonderful digibook release that was really cheap and I knew I had to get it because I like this film so much. Uh, Paul Anderson film. Um, I think it's Paul Thomas Anderson. Yes, P.T. Anderson. Boogie Nights, this is from uh, England. I know they have releases here, but um, you know, uh, I was over there on vacation. I like this film, worth picking up. I don't know what that was that just fell. Okay, Breakfast Club, uh, classic, coming of age, John Hughes film uh, with a stellar cast. This is just a classic. If you haven't seen it, I don't know what you're waiting for. Now, I really like these films, uh, Bring It On, um, with Kirsten Dunst, the original. I like cheerleading type films. Um, this was one that I quite enjoy. And then the other one that I like is Bring It On, All or Nothing with Hayden Panettiere. Um, yeah, not as good, but you know, it's still good. One of my favorite films in recent years is Brooklyn because I love Saoirse Ronan. She's one of my favorite actresses. I just recently read the book and I love the book as well. And I want to rewatch this movie, and though, even though I've seen it like twice. I love this film. I hope she gets an Oscar one day. The Butterfly Effect. Really good um, Ashton Kutcher film. Probably his best performance, maybe. Um, and it has Amy Smart as well. Really interesting uh, film about making changes. Um, Butterfly Effect. Uh, Vincent Gallo film that I really really like Buffalo 66 um, I hated the brown bunny but uh, Buffalo 66 works for me as a road road type film love that film another one I absolutely love uh, call me by your name um, I've learned the mysteries of love I think that song on guitar and ukulele so I really like this film uh, Timothy Chalamet kind of brought him into the spotlight this one this is not as good as I thought it once was um, Eli Roth's Cabin Fever. Um, they did a remake to it. I think all you need is the original. And then they did one, yeah, the remake basically, which is like a shot for shot, same thing directed by Eli Roth. And I wonder why they even did that. I think it's directed by Eli Roth or like he had a significant role in it. Winter Soldier. Um, I don't have this one on Steelbook because I actually like this cover um, with the, the Winter Soldier uh, Bucky Barnes on there. I think this is one of those Walmart releases that I got later on, used. It's fine, I'm completely fine with that. One of the best MCU films, one of the hardest steelbooks. For that. I went crazy trying to get this steelbook. I had it ordered to my house, it was broken, then I had to go find another one in the store. It was it was a nightmare trying to get this one, but got it. 
one of my favorite films of all time, Kate Blanchett, Rooney Mara, Carol. Um, Rooney Mara is actually my favorite actress going today, even though she's not doing a whole lot at the moment. Um, this I love the book, Carol. Uh, I forgot what the book was called by Patricia Highsmith. It's not. It wasn't called Carol initially, but I forgot what it was called. But um, I, I have that book. I love that book. Um, and I love this film so much. This is one of my favorite films by Todd Haynes. One of my favorite films ever. Such shot in such a wonderful way as well. One of my favorite Roman Polanski films. Another one of my favorite directors, Carnage. It takes place in one room pretty much the whole time. It's not a very long film. Wonderful cast, wonderful premise. Oh my God. If you haven't seen Carnage, it plays out like a play, like a stage play. It's so good. Had to get Carrie on um, Steelbook. I don't really like the Steelbook cover so much, um, but you know, it's Carrie, it's a Steelbook, Brian De Palma. I like this film. I don't like the remake so much, uh, but there's things about it that were pretty good. I mostly got this because it was cheap, and this is that lentic lenticular cover with the blood, which I think is really nice, and it was really cheap. Casablanca, classic. Um, I need to rewatch this again, though. Uh, it's been a while. Same with Casino, uh, Martin Scorsese film that I remember liking when I first saw it, but it's been a long time. So I have all the James Bonds, and then I have Casino Royale on Steelbook. I had to get this one on Steelbook because I think this is a nice Steelbook, and also it's a really good film. Kind of revitalize, re-energize the Bond series um, with Daniel Craig. And I love Eva Green, so. Another Audrey Ebburn film, One, this one being a uh, Criterion release. I love this film. Charade is fantastic. Um, just wonderful. She has chemistry with almost anyone that she works with. This, um, I was waiting for the steelbook of this one, Children of Men. Um, yikes. The, oh, Alfonso Cuaron is his name. Um, the director for this one. Children of Men is so good. Uh, I love this film. Clive Owen. Very creative film. Another Audrey Ebburn film that I love, The Children's Hour, which is a film kind of ahead of its time, talking about a lesbian like affair. However, they never really outright say it because it's a, it's a much older film from, I think, like the 50s. Um, but uh, I like this film a lot. Two really great leading actresses. As you can tell, I love Audrey Ebburn so much. Roman Polanski's Chinatown uh, on Steelbook. I love this film so much as well. Jack Nicholson, Faye Dunaway. So, so good. Roman Polanski is just an excellent director. I watch this every Christmas, so every Christmas this will be coming out of the shelf. Christmas Story. I've watched this every Christmas since I was probably eight years old. It's a wonderful film. I love this film so much. The live action Cinderella, which I really liked. Um, yeah, I thought it was a good adaptation. It was fun. Kenneth Bernal directed that one. I have the original one on Steelbook somewhere. Um, it's, it's coming up. It's definitely coming up. Click, one of the better um, Adam Sandler films, uh, comedy about being able to stop time and like change the, the world environment around you with a remote. I thought it was creative. I thought it was unexpectedly really heartfelt. Um, Adam Sandler was really good in Uncut Gems, which came out recently. I love that film. These are stuck together, but Cleopatra. Uh, I'm not crazy about this film. It is so long. Mostly the costume design is great. Uh, Elizabeth Taylor is good in it, but uh, the 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 all the stuff that went along with this film is crazy. It was a cheap release, so I just got that closer, which I really like. Um, the dialogues in this are very like memorable between these four um, these four uh, actors in this film. Closer is a really good film. It's a Mike Nichols film. Watch that one. One of my favorite films of all time, which I should have in a better release, like a steelbook or something, Cloverfield. I absolutely love this film. For me, it's a 10 out of 10. I love monster movies, and I think this was a really wonderful found footage way of showing it. I was so hyped for this, and it lived up completely to my expectations. An older um, Tim Curry film, Clue the Movie. Love this film. I think it's funny. Uh, the twist is nice. You know, everything about this film is just good. Clueless, which I really like as well. Um... Alicia Silverstone at her height. This was really good. It also has Paul Rudd, who still looks exactly the same. There's the original Creep Show. They should probably do a nicer release for this. Like they, they actually they probably did, but um, you know I'm fine with having this one. Creep Show. Uh, some of the skits in this are really good. I like this one. One of my favorite Pixar films. Probably my. Actually, I don't know. I won't say anything yet. But um, Coco. I love this film. I love the Steelbook. 
when I saw this, I was blown away by how good it was. I love Coco so much. Coming to America, such a classic Eddie Murphy film, which is so memorable. There's so many memorable things going on in this. I saw this recently. They're making a sequel. I uh, hope it's good. These sequels that come out years later, not always good though. Crimson Peak, Guillermo del Toro film, which is actually my favorite film because just the way it's, the visuals in this film is fantastic. I love Crimson Peak so much. The Crow, uh, kind of like a comic book uh, revenge film with Brandon Lee. Obviously, it's tragic how Brandon Lee died in this, um, but this is a, it's a good film to watch. I have a Bad Girls double feature, Cruel Intentions, which I um, watched a long time ago and I was re-watching recently, but I quit. Uh, I don't know, I just forgot about it. And then Wild Things. I got this mostly for Wild Things because, uh, you know, it was, it's a sexy film. Cure for Wellness, a Gore Verbinski film, which is shot very well. It's a long film, but I think it is a really good film. I really enjoyed this film. Um, not everyone will like it, but I loved it. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Now, um, this is actually like a regular, it is a Criterion release technically, but it's like it came in a regular blue case, and I hated that it was a Criterion, but in a blue case. So then I just took one of my PS3 games with like that, gray kind of like criterion uh cover and i just switched it so it looks like a criterion now i do like this film uh it's a good david fincher film the da vinci code the only one in that um robert langdon film series that i like from ron howard uh angels and deep uh, angels and demons was a disappointment same with inferno but uh i have uh da vinci code dark city which i quite like um this is the director of Gods of Egypt, which obviously I'm going to blank on his name right now. I think Alex Proyer or something. But uh, I like Dark City. Um, it kind of dies down near the end, but not bad. One of my favorite Wes Andersons, Darjeeling Limited. Uh, such a wonderful cast. He uses like the same actors over and over, but um, this one really works. The original Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. Uh, this was a expensive release for me, I think, as well. But so worth it. I love this film. George Romero's fantastic film i have the remake somewhere too but i don't know where the deadpool one and two steelbooks uh really good from ryan reynolds films they revitalized that character as well after it was terrible in x-men origins the departed goodfellas and aviator a triple from martin scorsese feature i got this mostly for the first two uh, i've seen aviator but it's been a long time uh, i love the departed and goodfellas both are so good i think i should have a better edition of goodfellas but you know do what i can um, another double feature, a Rob Zombie one with Devil's Rejects and House of a Thousand Corpses. I like House of a Thousand Corpses a little better, but um, these are just like good Halloween time films. One of the best uh, Alfred Hitchcock films ever, and I actually don't think it is in that box set, so I had to get this separately. Dallin for Murder, um, it's a 3D release for whatever reason, but this is so good. I love Dallin for Murder. Hitchcock, Hitchcock used to do things that like no, no one can do it the way he did. Dirty Harry, this is a very nice um, digi book as well. Uh, I got this for dirt cheap. Um, the only one I really like in the Clint Eastwood, um, you know, Dirty Harry series. One of the best films, uh, portrayal of the worst film of all time. I love The Room. I have The Room on Blu-ray actually, so you'll see that later. But The Disaster Artist is so good. James Franco directed uh, and his brother's in it as well. The Disaster Artist is so good. District 9, Neil Blomkamp's. The only Neil Blomkamp film I'll have in my collection, but I really like this because I'm a big sci-fi fan, sci-fi alien stuff, you know. Django Unchained, a really good Quentin Tarantino film. Um, I've only seen it once just because it's so long, but I love Quentin Tarantino. I have everything by him. Uh, Double Indemnity, um, really good film. The golden age of Hollywood. And uh, last release is one of my favorite directors of all time, Stanley Kubrick. I don't think this was in the box set that I have of him, which I'll show later, but uh, that's why I had to get it separately. And it was really cheap. Digibook got this one used. Why not? All right, so I'm going to pack these things up and then go to the next one. All right, we're going to go into the next row. This is Ygritte from Game of Thrones. Um, Audrey Orne from Twin Peaks. Um, and this shelf is really out of the place, so I'm just gonna take these one by one and just take them out. Picked this one up recently, uh, Justine, which is kind of like an erotic film. Have not seen it yet, we'll see. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Um, picked this one up recently, rewatched it recently. Not one of my favorites, but um, 
pretty cool Disney release. I watched this one recently as well, Little Mermaid. Um, picked this one up recently, pretty cheap. Um, they're coming out with a live action. I like this. This is a good animated film. Uh, I have some CDs here, which I'll get out of the way. And then the new Terminator Dark Fate. Uh, I like this one. I think it's a better um, Terminator film than what we've had recently. Um, and Arnold's back and Linda Hamilton was back. It's a good steelbook release. Um, Piranha. Uh, kind of like a cheese type film. You know, I, I dig it. It's fine. Uh, I like these type of cheesy, like stupid type films. So... Maps to the Stars, uh, David Cronenberg film. Not one of my favorites, but I do want to rewatch it uh, because it has a good cast and I remember liking things about it. Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, uh, Steelbook. I like this film. Um, I like the first one as well. So, Zombieland Double Tap, which actually shocked me because it was a different type of... Um, actually, it was a similar to the first one, but really, really good sequel. Um, I think they did a really good thing with this film and it worked for me so well. Sing Street, the film I was talking about earlier from the dire director of uh, Begin Again. Uh, such a good film, such good music. Love it. It's heartfelt. Uh, it's funny. Everything about it is great. All right. So let me just move those out of the way. So over here I have The Beatles, A Hard Day's Night. I am a big fan of The Beatles. Um, I have whatever I can from them. Um, this is a Criterion release. I love this album. Love The Beatles to death. So there's that. This Forever Maryland Connect collection which is pretty good however i don't like how big it is it's like dvd size even though it is blu-ray um so it's uh, kind of annoying to store however this one has uh, gentlemen prefer blondes how to marry a millionaire river of no return there's no sh business like show business seven year itch some like it hot and the misfits i like the seven year itch and some like it hot quite a bit it's a good release more beatles eight days a week the touring years another one that i hate how big it is it's so bulky but um this is the Ron Howard documentary about them when they toured. Love the Beatles. One of the best David, one of one of the better David Lynch efforts, Eraserhead. Um, I had to get this on Criterion. Trippy film, but it's so good. I love David Lynch. Oh boy, everything is falling over. Okay. Um, Coyote Ugly. Got this one recently. It's an okay type film. Um, saw this recently as well. It's, it's, it is what it is. Alice Sweet Alice, I really like this release, um, I think it's from Arrow, but it's it's a really, really nice release here. Um, really good horror film as well, uh, one you could watch during Halloween. Speaking of good horror films, Halloween The Complete Collection, and then that Halloween remake on Steelbook. Love these films, um, not all of them are great, but, you know, first one is great, uh, I like the Rob Zombie one. There's a, there's a whole bunch that I like in it, uh, I'm a big fan of these. Big fan of slasher horrors in general. I'm also a fan of this Classic Monsters uh, box set. It is huge. Get this out of the way. So, it is huge. It has the Invisible Man series, um, Creature from the Black Ragoon, Mummy, Phantom of the Opera, Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Wolfman. Wolfman. I have not seen all of them. I've seen a select few. However, sometime, maybe maybe this Halloween. It's 30 films, 30, 31 days, right? And on the Apocalypse, I had to get this one in England because I don't know if there is a u.s release of this yet musical like a horror christmas themed musical so creative um i really like this film quite a bit the superman five film collection i got this one um ordered from england as well it works here though the um, it has all the films the first four and superman returns i only like the first two really but uh why not get the collection Harry Potter, 8 film collection. Uh, you know, I like Harry Potter. I read all the books. Um, all of them are pretty good. I don't like Deathly Hallows Part 2 so much, but the rest are just, you know, classics in that type of film. Mad With No Name Trilogy, one of my first Blu-ray box sets that I got from England. I love this film. Sergio Leone's um, Western films are really, really great. This is um, not a great release, but this is all of the Jurassic World, Jurassic World Park and World films, including Fallen Kingdom. Um... I like the first one a lot. Second one is okay. Third, not so good. I like Jurassic World just fine. Fallen Kingdom, eh, it's it's okay. Indiana Jones: The Complete Adventures. This is all the films, all uh, four. Uh, all four are pretty good. I like it. You have to suspend your belief a little bit for some of them, but a series that I really liked and I rewatched recently: Mission Impossible: The 
six film collection. This has Fallout as well. So I have all of them in this one. Uh, all of them are pretty good. Two is probably the weakest, but you know, there's things about it that I like. I'm gonna move all these out of the way and then get to the back. Okay, so let's start off up here. This is Bumblebee, which is the, you know, Transformers film. Kind of like a prequel with Bumblebee coming here. Uh, I quite like this film. I think it's one of the best ones in their um, series. I don't mind a sequel if they do one. This is a more recent pickup. I think a lot of these are recent pickups actually. So 16 Candles, uh, really good uh, John Hughes film, Molly Ringwald. Uh, we watched this recently as well. Thought it was really good. Nice release, 35th anniversary release. One that I don't think a lot of people have heard of, but The Man From Earth. I think this is such a good uh, provocative thinking type film about so much that goes on in the world. It is so creative. Um, Man from Earth, and I have the sequel here somewhere too that a lot of people don't like, but I like. I don't know where it is, but that's one a lot of people have not heard of, which is fantastic. I had to get this abroad. Um, this is probably a German release, who knows? But uh, Dirty Girl, which I really like, Regional Temple. I don't know why they don't have it here. Um, pretty good film. The Poison Ivy collection, I really like this release. Uh, I thought it was a, a nice looking release, and I've never seen the film, so I watched them one by one through this. I think the first one is the best and the other three, uh, maybe the second one is pretty good too, but the last one is terrible. Kind of a guilty pleasure right here. Two guilty ple pleasures, The Happening and Knowing. Um, knowing knowing First is quite good, a uh, decent Nicolas Cage film. The Happening is an M. Night Shyamalan film, uh, which starts off okay and then takes a twist and just becomes horrible, but it's a guilty pleasure. Aquaman, um, yeah, I like the Steelbook. Not a huge fan of this film. It looked nice. Uh, it's better, one of the better DCEU films, which isn't saying much, but the Steelbook is nice. This should go up there with all the rest of the Chucky films, so I have all of them. Uh, Cult of Chucky, I like the lenticular cover. Not a bad film. Vice, uh, one of the best films of 2018, I think. Uh, very well acted by Christian Bale. Um, he kind of disappeared into that role as Dick Cheney. Uh, I love this film. I think it's really a really good film Assassination Nation um, Not crazy about this film. I've seen it twice. There's it's stylistic. Uh, it was a cheap buy so that's pretty much why I got it um, Not a lot of people know about that one. I don't think Fighting with my family. Uh, I like Florence Pugh. Um, this is a movie about the WWE wrestler Paige. Um, I'm not really into wrestling, but this film was good. Um, Florence Pugh is good in it. I think she's blowing up at the right time right now. Don John got this one really cheap. Joseph Gordon-Levitt in a directorial role. Pretty good movie about a guy with porn addiction, pretty much. Had to get this one abroad as well. Well, this one's from Germany. Um, raw uh really good uh kind of like a cannibalistic film um yeah that's worth a watch so i have the original x-men trilogy it should be up there with the rest of the x-men but uh, it is here um this has x-men 1 2 and 3 the last stand uh i think the second one x2 united is really good the other two you know it's just nice to have the full collection this was an expensive release for me, Existence. This is one of my favorite David Cronenberg films and one of my favorite films of all time. Um, so creative, getting into a video game world. I love this film. I think it's fantastic. Another one I really enjoyed that split viewers because I don't think they understood it. Uh, Mother, uh, Darren Aronofsky. Uh, it has a lot of biblical references and you just have to be there for it to really understand it. But um, I think it's a good film. Why not? Another film that I really like, The Nice Guys, got this one cheap, finally got it with a slip cover as well, Russell Cole, Ryan Gosling, uh, this is a really good film. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, nice buddy cop Shane Black film that for me it works. I'm just trying to see why isn't my camera clear. You know, I'm, I apologize if it's a little blurry, I don't know how to get this clear on this phone. Bridesmaids, a uh, really good comedy, had to pick it up because of how funny it is really, uh, one of the few Melissa McCarthy films that I like. I, I like Rose Byrne and Kristen, Kristen Wiig and Maya Rudolph. It's a, it's a really funny film. I like that one. Uh, Gran Torino, a Clint Eastwood film, directed film. I think this should have got more awards love when it came out. It's a really good film, Clint Eastwood. 
There's the remake of Dawn of the Dead, one of the better Zack Snyder films as well. He doesn't have that many that are great, but that's not a bad remake. I know they are re releasing this. They're releasing this on Criterion soon. However, I already got it from England. Wildlife and it works perfectly. I rewatched it the other day. Paul Dano's directorial. I don't know if it was his debut, but he directed that film and Zoe Kazan wrote it. I think it was good. Wildlife was really good. Really well liked it. Oh god, I have all the Toy Story films, but they are not in order. So Toy Story 2. Actually, I think I could get them in order. Just give me a second. Yes, okay. So, this is all of them. Toy Story, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, and Toy Story 4. Uh, I like these still book releases. Um, I wish the fourth one kind of went in the theme of those, but I waited so long to pick these up. Um, I don't know why, but when they were finally coming out on Steelbook, I knew that was the time. That was the time to get it. And the steelbook that I really like, uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. I think it's an excellent looking steelbook. Um, pretty good sequel to the 2000, maybe 14 version, but I like it. It's not bad. It has much more monster fighting in it than people complained about it. L Little Godzilla, and now they got it with that one. I was trying to get the steelbook of this, uh, but for whatever reason, it was like sold out at the time at Best Buy. So I got the regular edition, but I really like this film, Alita Battle Angel, one of the better Robert Rodriguez films. Um, the steelbook is readily available now. I don't want any more though. I already bought this, so whatever. Lost Highway, uh, when they were releasing this on Blu-ray, I was very excited. I love David Lynch. This is a trippy film that even sometimes I still don't think I understand, but I love it. There's a steelbook there of Shazam. A very fun DCEU film. I rewatched this again. It holds up pretty well. Knight of Cups. Um, yeah, I paid a lot for that one, it looks like. But uh, Knight of Cups is a good film. Um, it's, it is a Terrence Malick film where he's being really experimental, but I like it. I like those films. It was a very loose script for that one. This one I got pretty cheap, Ingrid Goes West. I like this one because it's just so awkward. Uh, Elizabeth Olsen's in it and uh, what's his name again? O'Shea Jackson Jr. The original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, purely for, purely for nostalgic value. I love this film as a kid, had to get it. When you rewatch it, it's still not bad. National Treasure Book of Secrets. The first one is up there somewhere, as you've seen earlier. Um, Nicolas Cage. I like this one better than the first one, I think. It's pure cheese, you know. A little bit. Andrew Lloyd Webber's Love Never Dies, which is the sequel to Phantom of the Opera. I actually bought this really cheap and wanted to sell it because I did not care for this. This is like, this isn't a movie. It's like a live Broadway, not Broadway, but like West End um, recording of the sequel to Phantom of the Opera on like live, like, you know, play a musical. But uh, this one sucked. I hate this one. Um, I did not like it at all. It was a disappointment to Phantom of the Opera, which I'm a big fan of. Um, and that one I'm trying to get rid of, but I probably won't get much for it. So whatever. Captain Marvel Steelbook. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Steelbook that much, but I do like the movie. I thought the movie was good. Goose right here is incredible. Is that Goose? Yeah, it is. Okay. Double pack feature. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, which I rewatched recently. Like it. Days and Confused, which I need to rewatch. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a good double feature to have. Here is finally Cinderella, the new, um, the original animated version, but a newer release on Steelbook, which is an excellent looking Steelbook, so I had to get that. And then this roll right here, let's just get through it. Under the Silver Lake, uh, David Robert Mitchell, the director of It Follows. Uh, pretty good film, I like that one. I had to get the Criterion release of Blue Velvet. It's one of my favorite David Lynch films, and I think this release is just phenomenal. This is a phenomenal film itself. David Lynch is so so good another Alfred Hitchcock film notorious got this one on criterion too because I believe it's not in that box yet that's probably why I picked it up uh, but this is a really good film notorious is amazing mean girls uh, why not uh, I like this release with the pink uh, case it's a classic film actually nowadays Pearl Harbor of uh, I, I used to like this when I was younger. Michael Bay film. Nice disaster, but the romance is just like offsetting for this one. So let me get rid of some of these and then I will uh, continue. All right, let's get to it. It's going to be a little darker here, unfortunately. I'm going to try my best. The double feature of the newer Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula, and Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Frankenstein, I don't like too much. I, I do like that Dracula, though. Um, it's Francis Ford Coppola. Um, it's creative. Um, 
the imagery is really good in it. I know I have the box set, but I had to get this Dracula release. Um, it's one of those with the nice slip covers. Yeah, this is a really nice release. Um, had to get that one. Dress to Kill, Brian De Palma film. Love this film, like the twist in it. This is a, everything is just falling over. Um, this is a good Criterion release, Dress to Kill. I love that one. One of my favorite films of all time, had to get it on Steelbook, Drive. Um, such a memorable uh, Nicholas Winding Refn film, which is, he's actually one of my favorites. Ryan Gosling is great in this. Oh boy, this is tough to put in there. Dunkirk on Steelbook. Uh, I thought it was a creative way of telling a war film with the kicking time as well. Dunkirk really good film by Christopher Nolan saw that one in IMAX I think that's how you're supposed to see something like that another steel book E.T. the extraterrestrial um, Steven Spielberg at his finest uh, family friendly type film E.T. nice steel book film that I really really love uh, a coming of age film um, The Edge of Seventeen with Woody Harrelson and Haley Steinfeld Haley Steinfeld is Tremendous in this film. Love that film. And then a kind of a kind of a similar similar type film, eighth grade, another coming of age film with Elsie Fisher. Um, a Bob Burnham film. Really funny, really good, really realistic as well. Another Delaney Villeneuve film, um, Enemy, Jake Gyllenhaal. I like this one. I wish it was a better release, but this is a trippy kind of thriller, psychological film. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, Jim Carrey, Kate Winslet. Uh, this is a really memorable film, really good film. Um, Rewatched it recently. One of my favorite comedies, Euro Trip. I thought it was very funny. I like I like the European adventures in this film. Uh, yeah, really good film. I have the Steel Book of Evil Dead. Uh, I like this film enough. Sam Raimi's first film. I don't like Evil Dead two and Army of Darkness too much. I thought those got too like campy, and this one was pretty good. Ex Machina, uh, one of my earlier uh, Blu-ray film pickups. Ex Machina is really good. Uh, Alex Garland film. Yeah, I love this film. Alicia Vikander is fantastic in it. So creative. Things are about to fall over again. Okay, so The Exorcist. <sighs> so hard to move here. Okay, The Exorcist, the original, um, and the director's cut and the original theatrical version. A really good um, horror film. I'd say, I don't think it's scary at all, but, uh, you know, for the way it was made, it's really great. And this is the digibook release. I have Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. Had to pick this up just because, um, I, I, in my mind, it was like a rare release and I found it in stores. Just got it. Pretty cool. But it looks nice on screen. Fargo. Um, I like the series as well. Joel and Ethan Cohen's film. This is a nice steelbook. I had the regular version of it, but then I just got rid of that. Got the steelbook. Fargo is really good. Love that film. One of my other favorite films of Fatal Attraction, Michael Douglas, Glenn Close. Really good, uh, kind of like a psycho, psycho thriller romance. Um, Michael Douglas was in a lot of those type of films early on. Fast and Furious. The only Fast and Furious that I will own is the first one, when it was just about racing. That's all it was about. Now they're like taking over the world, international spies, all this. There's too much going on in those now. Too much for me. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the Bueller Bueller edition. Really good classic film about skipping school. The Fifth Element, which I really like. I think it's a really good um, sci-fi film. Very memorable. Uh, one I want to rewatch. I really like this release as well. Oh boy, here we go. So I have the Fifty Shades series. So let me talk about these and why I own them. So <laughs> this one was a black... The main reason I own these is uh, I like Dakota Johnson. Fifty Shades of Grey, the first one was a cheap cheap black friday pickups once i got that i got uh i think this is 50 shades darker i like this one a little better um and i just picked it up and then the last one is like trash i don't really care about it but completionist right fight club i had like three different versions of this until i got rid of the others because the steelbook came out david fincher i don't think it's david fincher's best but um yeah, fight club is pretty good i like that film one that i watch every halloween the final girls this is such a creative self-aware comedy about horror films and final girls love this film so much it's amazing it's so rewatchable the florida project uh with brooklyn prince william De william william defoe sean baker film his follow-up to tangerine uh i love florida project it's so good sorry and theaters was blown away knew i had to pick that up 
another David Cronenberg film, The Fly. Uh, this is like one of those steel books, like that carry one with the that kind of art, the face art. This one is a better looking steel book. Really good film. I like this film. Jeff Goldblum is good in it. Noah Baumbach's uh, Frances Ha. Uh, I love this film. Uh, Greta Gerwig is fantastic in it. It's a nice Patreon release. I could rewatch that anytime. Frankenstein, which is supposed to be glow in the dark. I don't know if it does glow in the dark. I have this and the original Dracula in separate format on top of that box set, but uh, this was like one of those Walmart releases. I like Frankenstein though. Frankenstein is a really good um, film. Boris Karloff one. Friday, a uh, film about guys hanging out. Really, really good um, film. I like Ice Cube in movies and I think he paired well with Chris Tucker. The Fun House, um, a pretty good 80s horror film. I like this release. I think it's, I think there's a slip cover with it too, but I just don't have that one. I'm gonna move these to this side so then I can get through to the next portion. Just bear with me. All right, so the Fun House, yeah. This is one of those reversible cover ones as well. I have the full Friday the 13th box set, which is somewhere. Um, I, it, I'm curious where it actually, okay, it's down there, okay. So I do have that box set. Something else just fell. Okay, so I have that box set. Um, and I have the Friday the 13th, The Killer Cut, which is the 2009 version, which I thought was okay. Nightmare on Elm Street, which is the 2010 version of Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake. I did not like that one that much, but I love Rooney Mara, that's why I have it. And Freddy vs. Jason, why not get all three? Because that, that um, Jason box set actually does not have all of the films. There's like Jason Goes to Hell is missing, Jason X is missing. A good war film with Brad Pitt, Fury. Um, I think Shia LaBeouf is great in this as well. I think this is like the ugliest steel book I have though. It's a terrible looking steel book. Um, but you know, I like the film. The Game uh, on Criterion. Another David Fincher film. I like the game a lot. Uh, the ending kind of lets you down, but it's a good film. I also like this film quite a bit. Jordan Peele's Get Out, a uh, very creative film. I did not like Us as much as Get Out, but I think Get Out was quite great. Another great film, um, with Casey Affleck and Rooney Mara, who I love. Um, I forgot the name of this director. I shouldn't, but uh, I, I feel bad now that I forgot it. Yeah, um, his films are good though. Um, and A Ghost Story was a good addition to that. He likes using Casey Affleck and Rooney Mara. I love that film. I don't know why I forgot his name. Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Uh, I love 1 and 2. Uh, I like 2 a lot because it's very nostalgic. I know 1 is better, but um, these two are good. I did not like the remake that much. And then the newer one that they're coming out with, um, Afterlife or whatever, doesn't look good to me. Ghost in the Shell. I like this film. Um, I like this Steelbook release as well. Scarlett Johansson, I think it's a, she's really good in it. It's a good film. Criterion release, Gilda, Rita Hayworth. Um, I like this film also. Uh, picked this up with uh, Criterion Cell that they have at Barnes & Noble. Girl Next Door, wonderful film. Alicia Cuthbert is, she's very sexy. Uh, unrated version, great film. Another David Fincher film, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo with his special releases that his film comes out with in the packaging. Rooney Mara is great in this. Um, yeah, I love that film. I think it might be better than the original. I like the American update of it, really. The Godfather original trilogy. One and two are amazing. Three, not bad. Um, this is something I do want to sit and rewatch again one time, but uh, I think that's like the Sapphire edition or something. Oh, no, the, Co the Coppola restoration. It's really good. Graduate, another film that's really good. I thought about the Criterion, but I was like, I'll just go cheap. As long as I have it, I'm fine. A really good film. Simon and Garfunkel um, soundtrack. Gravity, one of my favorite films of all time, Alfonso Cuaron. I love space films that are like pretty realistic, and I think Gravity is um, fairly realistic. A lot of people don't like this film. I thought it was amazing. I thought the the one take in the beginning was amazing as well. All right, Great Gatsby, another film that I think is absolutely amazing. Um, if I forgot, ba Baz Luhrmann is the director. I love this film so much. I love the book. I read the book. Um, I love the whole the whole Gatsby setting. Godzilla, got this one pretty cheap. This is the prequel to the King, King of Monsters film. Pretty good, pretty good film, Godzilla. Well acted, redone well. Gone Girl, uh, David Fincher film, which is really good. Um, I think Rosamund Pike in it is fantastic. The Grease Yearbook 40th Anniversary Edition, uh, nice release. I watched this recently, I like it. It's a good film, who doesn't like Grease? 
Greta. <laughs> it's like a kind of like a cheesy type stalker type film with Chloe Grace Moretz and Isabel Hooper. I got this mainly because of Michael Monroe, but I actually really like this film as well. And I love Michael Monroe. One of my favorite films of all time. I will give this a 10 out of 10 any day of the week. This is the Grindhouse double feature. I have two versions of this and I'm going to keep both versions. This is Planet Terror and Death Proof, both of which I love immensely. I love the whole feel of that B-movie feel with the trailers and everything. And this is the Steelbook release, which I love as well. I'm never getting rid of those two. The Guest. Uh, as I say, I love Michael Monroe. Uh, this is a pretty good film for like the first half and then it just gets weird. Um, but it's a pretty good film, I guess. I have another version of Halloween. Um, didn't have the heart to get rid of this, even though I have like the box set. It's a nice release, that's why. And Hardcore Henry, first person like shooter type film, which I really commend it because it's a different type of film for me anyways. Um, I like it. All right, let's, we finish this shelf. Let me just pack that up and it goes to the next one. We're getting down to it. These are the last three rows here. Um, let's start with here, the Funkos. Um, this is from Clueless, uh, Riverdale, um, Twin Peaks fun codes right here, another Riverdale and Labyrinth. All right, so let me get these out of the way first. I hate when they fall over, but as you can see, I need a bigger shelf to just be able to manage all this. Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me. I uh, love this movie. I think it's a fantastic David Lynch film. I love Twin Peaks so much. As you can see, I have that box set, The Entire Mystery. So I have the entire mystery, which is a wonderful looking box set, and then pretty good uh, limited event series box set as well of the new um, the new season, the revival season. I love Twin Peaks so much. There's like I could rewatch it anytime. Love it. Love the music. Love everything about it. Here's the Friday the Thirteenth eight movie collection, the first eight films. It was a long time coming for this, but it does not have um, you know the newer ones like Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X. Those are the two that I'm missing really in this collection. But I like Friday the Thirteenth. Not my favorite slasher series, but it's there. Ad Astra, wonderful um, space time, space film, which I thought was really realistic. Well, for for what it gives you, it's quite realistic. I love the depiction of like Neptune and Uranus. Like th this is like the first time in film where I've seen them like actually go that far and like try to keep it grounded in realism. I love Ad Astra, wonderful film. Mary Poppins uh, and Mary Poppins Returns. They had the steel books coming out, which were really cool. Um, as you can see, these are very nice steel books. I like Returns a lot. Scanners, uh, David Cronenberg film. Got this on Criterion. Love that film as well. I love this film so much. Olivia Cook and 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 Anya Taylor Joy. These two are my two two of my favorite actresses today. And then seeing them together in Thoroughbreds is amazing. I love both of them so much. Um, I love this film. Labyrinth on Steelbook. It's a pretty okay film, Jim Henson film. Um, you know, it's worth getting a steelbook, even though like the uh, puppetry or like the effects are kind of dated. I'd say it's not not a bad film to have. All right, let's start with up here. This is, uh, I think it's the first Iron Man. Uh, Iron Man, and then where's the other ones? Oh no, this is not. Is it the first one? I think it's the second one. Yeah, this is two. Um, let me get the other ones here. That's the first one. There you go. So I, Iron Man 1, 2, and I have 3. You know what? There's a bunch of Marvel films here. I might as well just do it now. So I have all three Iron, Iron Mans. I have Thor The Dark World and Thor. Um, these two are pretty weak, I'd say, in the MCU. Although Ragnarok is great and it's somewhere down there. Uh, yeah, it is down there. And then I, Iron Man 3. Um, I rewatched these all recently. You know, it's okay. Uh, you gotta like, if you have MCU and you're a collector, you gotta have all of MCU. So that's basically that. Speaking of MCU, might as well do this now too. Um, Avengers Endgame. Uh, fantastic conclusion. Very emotional conclusion. Love this film. Saw it like twice in theaters and then rewatched it at home. Another MCU of Spider-Man Far From Home. You know, really good follow-up to Avengers as well. Um, not my favorite Spider-Man films, but still something that works. Um, I have another MCU right here. So it's Doctor Strange on Steelbook. When that one came out, had to get it. Um, with these new Steelbooks that came out, I'm happy that they did because I did not have a lot of the MCU. So picking it up... Oh, God. So picking it up was actually something that I needed to do. And when they released all of them, that was a good idea. And Guardians of the Galaxy 1. I have two somewhere. Uh, God knows where. But I do have it. So I'll get to that later. But um, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 as well is there. 
All right, so let me move these out of the way. Everything keeps falling over. This is like the worst ever. I'm just trying to do it as quick as possible. Charlie's Angels. Okay, so Charlie's Angels. I'm a big fan of Charlie's Angels. So I have the complete series. I'll just move this now. So I have the complete series on Blu-ray because I love this. And this recently came out. I love the show so much. The first film was okay. It wasn't anything amazing. I wasn't blown away by it. But, you know, it was Charlie's Angels. So I have that one. Um... The new one was pretty disappointing, but being that I like Charlie Angel so much, I will probably pick it up. Right. The Master, Paul Thomas Anderson, uh, really good uh, Paul Thomas Anderson film. Uh, I think it deserved more praise than it got. It's kind of like about Scientology in a way, so that's a really good film. I like that film. Maleficent, this steelbook came out recently. I like Maleficent. Um, I like Angelina Jolie as Maleficent. And I obviously like Elle Fanning a lot. As you can see, I have so many Elle Fanning films. This is trash, Dark Phoenix. I absolutely hate this. Like, I think this is such a terrible X-Men film. And it was such a disappointing way to end a pretty decent series. That had its moments. But that was just horrendous. See, I love Elle Fanning. So, Teen Spirit, a film about her in a singing competition. I quite like this film. The music's pretty good. Um, yeah, not a lot of people know about that one. Another one with my favorite actresses, Olivia Cook, Me Earl and the Dying Girl. Wonderful film, very heartfelt, very emotional. Love that film. It took me forever to get this because I was debating because I only really liked the first Saw, uh, but this whole series was on sale. This has all of them, including Jigsaw, but um, I only really liked the first one, to be honest. So like this was just like a, I don't know if it was a smart buy because I don't really care about the other ones, but it is the full series. It is a nice steelbook though, I'll give it that. Miss Delphire, um, this was pretty cheap, classic film from childhood, Robin Williams, why not? John Carpenter's Vampires, I really like this film, um, a nice John Carpenter film. Um, yeah, and this is a nice uh, Screen Factory release as well. Sorry if my camera is blurry, I don't know how to fix the blurriness, unfortunately. Anna, um, quite like this film, Sasha, Sasha Luce, the new actress, uh, Kind of like a model actress who I think did a good job with this. Uh, not not a bad film. I wish I got this slipcover. Some editions have a slipcover and I might just trade it in or something. Yesterday, um, you know, I love the Beatles. Uh, I like this uh, film by Danny Boyle. It's so, it's a creative film about like if nobody remembered the Beatles, like what would happen? Um, and this guy just like tries to take the work as his own. Really good film. Um, it's about a brown guy who plays music and likes the Beatles. I mean, this is like my life, right? <laughs> The Big Lebowski. Um, I'm not as big in, on this film as a lot of people are, but it's it's something you gotta have in your collection, and the steelbook is nice. Um, now, um, I like the Silent Hill series. I used to play it as a kid. Uh, I like this film quite a bit. The re the the sequel was horrible though, but um, this is a very nice um, Screen Factory release, I think. Oh, this was hard to find, and it was very expensive. Actually, no, I got this really cheap. Um, I don't know if the seller knew how much this was worth, but I got this pretty cheap. Um, Dead, or, Dead Alive, which is a Peter Jackson film. It might be his first one or like one of his first ones. Also known as Brain Dead. This is so good. Um, and I think this is one of my prized, prized um, editions in my collection. I saw it in a film class and I was blown away by how gory and funny it was. Um, I like 1984 the book a lot. So this release of 1984 on Criterion was something I had to get because I, re I really like this film. Um, I think it's John Hurt in this film. This is a really good adaptation of the book. And there is the remake of Aladdin, which is a very nice steelbook uh, by Guy Ritchie, which is a different type of film for him. But um, I liked Aladdin. I liked Aladdin a lot. I think it was it, it could have been disappointing, um, but like Will Smith as a genie worked. Everything worked. One that I know a lot of people won't know about because it is a foreign language film. I think it's a German film. So Never Look Away is so good. Um, it's like three hours long, but um, it's absolutely amazing all the way through. Blow me, blew me away. I would give it like a nine out of ten. I loved it so much. Another film that I loved so much, Olivia Wilde's Booksmart, which I want to rewatch again. Um, very nice um, cast. I think Benny Fieldman and Kathleen Dever, I think is her name. From She's from Justified. I remember that. But this is a really good film. Really funny film. The Green Inferno, which was a nice collector's edition release on Shelf uh, Screen Factory. Um, Eli Roth film. This is okay film. It's not bad, but the release is nice. That's what. Uh, the new reimagining of Child's Play, which I actually did not like, but I got pretty cheap um, because I had like a discount, and it might have been for Black Friday as well. I can't remember, but I did not like this, even though I'm such a big Chucky fan. 
Another film I'm not crazy about, but I for some reason did pick up Hustlers. Um, yeah, about the new film that came out last year. J Lo's great in it, of course, but um, I thought the film was a little overrated. Here's one I don't think is overrated and I think should be nominated for like everything because Midsummer is fantastic. It's from the director Ari Aster of Hereditary. Hereditary is fantastic in and of itself, but Midsummer is fantastic. Florence Pugh is amazing. This is a 10 out of 10 film. The original Zombieland, I don't like it as much as the sequel. I should have got the matching steel book, but you know, whatever. This was cheap. Picked it up just to complete that collection. One of my favorite um, films, actually, Disney films of all time, is Lilo and Stitch. I, I love Stitch. Stitch is amazing. As you can see, I have the little light of Stitch. I have like a, a yeah, I have that little glowing light of Stitch right there. Stitch is fantastic. Um, Lilo and Stitch 2, not as good, but still quite good. He's one of the cutest characters Disney has ever made. Oh, one of the best horror films ever. I watch this every single year, spring. Um, such a good monster movie, monster love story. This is well, this was one of my only blind buy pickups. I don't normally do that because I want to be wise with what I buy, but spring is amazing. Blinded by the Light, another good film. Bruce Springsteen, I'm a big Bruce fan, as you can see, poster up there. So, uh, yeah, Blinded by the Light is great. Um, I'm not sure I know this actor. He's, he might be new, but I think he did a good job in this. It's from the director of Ben De Like Beckham, which is a pretty good film as well. I'm also a big um, football slash soccer fan, so that's something, uh, if it was on Blu-ray, I probably would get. All right, let me move these, all this out of the way and just get to what we need to get to. Four film Harold and Kumar collection, primarily, and then there's Beer Fest, which I don't like that much, but um, the Harold and Kumar films, I like the first two quite a bit. First one is amazing quotable very relatable one from my childhood christmas one not so much don't like that one hateful eight tried to get the steelbook obviously the steelbook was crazy it sold out like within two minutes but uh quentin tarantino's hateful eight long film but really good well acted well dialogued as usual with um, quentin tarantino this was a canadian release the haunted anthology so i'll just go through what's in here blair witch project um insidious the first one the last exorcism 1408 and the others i like blair witch project um 1408 and the others quite a bit last exorcism is not bad neither is insidious so this canadian release was absolutely worth it like there's five horror films in there that i enjoy so i already did hatefully heat this one came out Quite recently, uh, and I rewatched it quite recently. Michael Mann, fantastic film with Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, and the scene when they're in it together is just so good. Hellfest, uh, kind of a nice hor horror Halloween film about being in an adventure park with a murderer on the loose. Pretty good film. You know I love the Beatles. I love Help. I love everything about the Beatles. This film is amazing. I love this film. I love this soundtrack. I will never not buy something that is Beatles. I love the Beatles. I also love her. Um, really good uh, Spike Jones film with Joaquin Phoenix. I thought this was wonderful screenplay, wonderful score. Really smart script as well. I think this is something that could be possible in the very, 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 very near future. Oh my god. Okay. Let me put that there so I remember to put it back in. Okay. Hereditary. We were talking about Ari Aster earlier. Hereditary is fantastic horror film blew me away it's a different type of horror film but it's unnerving tony collette is fantastic in it the hills have eyes um i don't like this release so much i hate these j card releases that they just stuck on a regular version of it but this is the remake as well because i'm i think i might have the original hills of i don't know actually honestly i don't know but um this is the remake one um i like the remake one slightly his girl friday when this came out on criterion i had to get it saw this in a film class love it carrie grant Fantastic in it. Great script, great acting, great chemistry, all that. Had a few versions of Hocus Pocus until this fantastic steelbook version came out with the book. Sanderson Sisters, Hocus Pocus, Halloween classic. Every October 31st, I will watch this in Halloween without fail. So here's, here's, uh, got everything sticking together. Okay, so the Hostel series, Hostel Part 1 and 2. Hostel 1 is good, um, Eli Roth, very gory, but um, 2 I don't care so much for, but you might as well get the double feature for it. Um, Home Alone 2 movie collection, this is another one where I kept getting steelbook versions and single solo versions until the the two film steelbook came out, thought I would take space, just get this one. Both of them are good, I've never seen any of the other newer ones, whatever they made, I don't care for those. Double feature that I mostly got for 
the hotspot. I like the hotspot um quite a bit. It has Jennifer Connelly in it. Killing me softly, I've seen. I'm not crazy about it, but you know, I, when there's a good double feature, I'll do it. If you get an extra film, really. So, one of my favorite. Another one I watch in the month of October every single year because Ty West is such a good horror film director. Um, this and Innkeepers are so good. The House of the Devil I watch every single year. I can't praise this film enough. This is like my one of my favorite horror films of all time. Probably top three at this point because I love it. If you haven't seen it, oh my god, I love that film. I I have no shame. I love this film. Um, How to Be Single, Dakota Johnson, Rebel Wilson, Alison Brie. Such a good film. I think it's funny. I think it's very relatable because it takes place in New York. Um, I like that film. Another wonderful Audrey Hepburn film. Twilight Time really did a good job releasing all these um, Audrey Hepburn films. How to Steal a Million, like a kind of like a caper type film. And rom romance caper. Love that film as well. I'm messing up the order here. This is a strange film that I saw in theaters, but I love Elle Fanning. And I thought it was pretty, you know, pretty cool. How to talk to girls at parties. Um... Really, really, um, yeah, it's like, kind of like a heartwarming type film. I like it. Um, I like the release as well. It's a nice slip cover, nice release. I rewatched that as well. I thought it was still good. Uh, the Human Centipede, uh, you know, I don't know why I picked this up. The first one was kind of memorable but gross. Uh, and then the first sequence is the only one I would get. Two and three are horrible, I think. I don't care about those. Now I have the Hunger film, Hunger Games, all of them on the Best Buy Steelbooks. Catching Fire is the best. First one's okay. Catching Fire is the best one. Mockingjay Part 1 and 2 could have been one film. Should have been one film. I like the books enough. But um, this series was a letdown at some points. Even though Catching Fire, I would say, is a good film. Yeah. Double Pack, I Spit on Your Grave 1 and 2. Um, first one is a pretty good uh, revenge type film. The remake, the, I've, I've seen it, but I don't remember thinking anything of it. So I don't really care about that one. I still know what you did last summer. Oh wait, everything's out of order. Okay, so yeah, so I have both. I know what you did last summer, and then I still know what you did last summer. Good '90s, um, kind of like slasher films. I like those films a lot. One that got me to really respect Margot Robbie as an actress is *I Tanya*. Um, really good film about Tanya Harding. Yeah, uh, I like this film. I like the way it's shot. I think she was fantastic in it. Get these out of the way. Inception on Steelbook, a uh, wonderful Christopher Nolan film, one of his best ones, um, really trippy, really creative, um, another Clint, I mean a Clint Eastwood, I keep saying Clint Eastwood, Quentin Tarantino film, Inglorious Bastards about killing Nazis, this is a really good film, Brad Pitt, another one from my other favorite directors, Inherent Vice, got this one in England, um, long film, a little trippy, a little hard to watch in one sitting, but it's Paul Thomas Anderson, stylish. The Coen Brothers released Inside Lewin Davis, which I really like. Kind of like Oscar Isaac's breakthrough film, I would say. Inside, Inside Lewin Davis is great. Here's the other Ty West film that I was talking about, The Innkeepers, which is also fantastic. I love this film so much. Love it to death, along with um, House of the Devil. Sarah Paxton's in this. Um, this is one of my favorite. Every year, I'll watch it. Interstellar. So I hated this when I first saw it in theaters um, because I was like, nitpicking it. But then I rewatched this on a flight back from England once and I got to appreciate it. And I thought this was a really well made film. You know, it's a lot of heart, emotional intensity to it. One of the better Michael Phelps, Michael Phelps, Michael, Michael Bay films ever. Um, the Island. Uh, I like this film quite a bit. I think it's creative. Um, it's if I was a director, that's like the type of plot I would have in a film. Inside Out. Um, Really good, heartwarming, um, often sad Pixar film. Uh, I know they're releasing the steelbooks of all these um, films, but uh, I like this lenticular cover, and I don't think I will be changing it. It's a good film, great film. Now we got um, Stephen King's It films. I'm starting to think that I don't know where some of my films are. Okay, because I do have It Chapter 2, but I don't know where it is. Okay, so Stephen King's It, the original um, Tim Curry special. I like this one. Um, it's a classic one from my childhood. I really like this re re um, remake as well, the first one. The next one, it Chapter 2, was such a disappointment to me. I don't think I liked it that much. Um, yeah, it didn't hit hit the spot for me, but It Follows. Really good film. David Robert Mitchell, Michael Monroe. Excellent film. Here's one that I liked much more than I thought I would. Jackie. I'm trying to open it because it has a nice inner part right there. Um, really well acted by Natalie Portman. I think she does a really good, really good job with this film. 
Jackie Brown, um, a lot of people's least favorite Quentin Tarantino film, I guess. But um, it's still extremely good quality. I like this film. I think it's really good. Jaws, uh, the only one I will own, but this is such a good horror film by Steven Spielberg. Um, Jaws is fantastic. It was scared me a little bit as a kid, honestly. Jennifer's Body. I'm trying to get a steel book of this because I love Megan Fox. Um, I don't really care what people say about her acting. I love Megan Fox. I love this film. This is a pretty good release, but there's a very nice steel book of it, which I will update. In and of itself, the film isn't great, but Megan Fox, so hot. Jeepers Creepers. The first one is the only one that I own. I hate this J-Card editions, but I don't want to spend so much on the Screen Factory for this because I already have this. So, But um, Jeepers Creepers is good. Two is okay. Three is hor horrible. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. JFK, long film that I've seen once, but um, I like these type of political, like based on real event type things. And this is about a conspiracy that, you know, people talk about to this day. That is a pretty good film. Another pretty good film is Joy, about the girl who invented the Miracle Mop. Um, I like that release as well. I got this mainly because the release is nice, but um, Jennifer Lawrence is good in it. It's a good David O. Russell film. Jumanji, the first one with Robin Williams in this board game type release which is fantastic um i like that film quite a bit and i loved welcome to the jungle i have no problems with welcome to the jungle the next level the new one that came out was okay it wasn't as good not as funny i don't think they should do anymore justice league a uh, massive disappointment there's in doses i like this film mainly because of wonder woman um there's not a whole lot for this is that this was like a mess and dceu is in, in general is a mess Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. I'm happy to have these on Steelbook. Um, really good Quentin Tarantino films. Uma Thurman is fantastic in it. Very memorable. Another Steelbook. Well, two. All right, so let's do this. These things are sticking together. Knock Knock, which is a really good Keanu Reeves film. It's so stupid, but it has Ana de Armas and... Lor I forgot her name. Loren yeah, Lorenza Izzo. Um, really good film. Uh, kind of softcore, but uh, the premise is funny. I love that film. Um... King Kong, the Peter Jackson version, um, which I really like. Uh, it is long. Um, some parts aren't necessarily long, but um, this is a really well-made King Kong adaptation, I think. I would. I don't like um, Skull Island so much, so I don't think I'll be ever getting that one. But I'm excited to get, um, I mean, to see Godzilla vs. Kong. This is uh, La Belle no Noises. <laughs> this was a Cohen film collection release, The Beautiful Troublemaker. Pretty good film, um, directed by Jack Rivet. Um, a French cinema film, pretty erotic film. Uh, yeah, I have that in my collection. I forgot I had that one. LA Confidential, I picked up in England. Nice release, nice slipcover. Rewatched this, pretty good film. Um, it still holds up well for me, 20th anniversary edition. And then the last two here are La La Land and Lady Bird. Two films that I thought were very Oscar worthy. Lady Bird I love because Saoirse Ronan is fantastic in it. She's one of my favorite actresses. Ryan Gosling, Emma Stone, La La Land, uh, Damien Chazelle's one of his best films. Great musical. Love these two. I don't like this release so much. I, for some reason I don't like this steelbook. I think Walmart had the better release but I'm like a steelbook freak so that's why I have that one. Alright, let's go to the second to last row now. All right, time for the second to last row. We have here um, uh, Alice from Alice in Wonderland, Kelly Kapowski from Saved by the Bell, um, and then uh, Lagertha. She's just rolling around. Lagertha from the Vikings one. Sorry, right, so let's put those away for now. I might as well, while I'm here, show my Star Wars Funkos. Um, I have a few of those as well, just in uh, near the TV. All right, National Lampoon's Vacation, the... Um, collection a foreign version but you know uh these are pretty good films I'd, I'd say they're pretty good uh paradise hills a more recent release that looks very nice on film um nice nice female cast as well uh i kind of liked it it was a little disappointing at times that's cosima from orphan black move out of the way spartacus the complete series um i love this series uh this is a cheap release as well had to get it the Beatles number ones um, singles on a Blu-ray. This is an immense uh, set, and I love it. Um, it. Has all the music videos as well and CDs. This is such a good release. Rome, which I really like as well. Have not rewatched it, but this is a really good HBO TV series. I don't always buy TV series, but when I do, I have to really like the show. You know, uh, Pitch Perfect one and two. I have three, three. I have three somewhere, even though I hate three. Um, but one and two were. I thought one was good. Two was okay. I have the original Sin City somewhere as well. It's coming up, but Sin City, A Dame to Kill for the Steelbook, which is a really good um, release. 
look, looking release. Uh, it was a bit disappointing compared to the first one, but I thought there were things about it that were worth worth. Uh, Yellow Submarine, the Beatles film, animated film, which I love. Love the soundtrack. My Fair Lady by with Audrey Hepburn. The release is really nice. I'm not a big fan of this film, but you know Audrey Hepburn. Heather's. I really like the Steel Book. Um, saw this one recently. Really good. Um, kind of click type film that became a cult classic. Uh, the Joker, Joaquin Phoenix, absolutely deserves his Oscar for this one. Um, I really like this film. Nice Joker origin story that really works. I already talked about the Charlie's Angels set right there. And then Predator, three movie collection. This is one, two, and Predators. Um, I like one a lot. And then The Predator, which is also a really good... Um, actually, no, this one I didn't like. Shane Black's newer film. Didn't like that one that much. Uh... Yeah, so I think things are a little darker down here, so it's going to be harder to do this. But let's hopefully I can just pull it up and you'll be able to see it in the light. John Wick chapters one, two, and three. Um, what a wonderful series this is. Uh, Keanu Reeves kind of getting revitalized in these modern years. Such a fantastic one. Got this one actually like last week. Ratatouille, really good Pixar film, really sweet film, really cute film. You know. There's it, chapter two. Don't like this. Just had to complete the series. I'm kind of glad it's over after this. This was horrible. I think uh, not horrible, but uh, it was not good. Once upon a time in Hollywood was good. Um, really good Quentin Tarantino film, showing that he is fantastic. I'm happy Brad Pitt finally got an Oscar. This is a really good revisionist Manson type series. There's the other Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle. Um, I don't know why they didn't do Steelbook for this as well. Not a good film, um, but you know I'm a Charlie's Angels fan, so I stick through it. The New Lion King, which I actually did not like this one so much. Too photorealistic. I can see what they were going for probably, but didn't work as good as I wanted it to. Once Upon a Time in the West, one of the best uh, westerns of all time. Very, very good film. Very nice soundtrack as well. All right, here we go. Something just keeps falling always. Parasite. Um, wonderful South Korean film by Bong Joon-ho. Uh absolutely fantastic blew my mind away such a good film everyone needs to see that 2012 um disaster movie galore uh really fun film when it came out in theaters um i like it roland emmerich there's the batman series motion picture anthology the first four films batman one and two great uh i like the set batman forever nostalgic I like that one batman and robin do not like that one and then over here as i said earlier i have three three other editions of taylor swift's lover you know Dr. Sleep, a really good Stanley Kubrick um, update to the, his Stanley Kubrick's um, film. Uh, what was that called? The Shining. Yeah, I like this film, Dr. Sleep. I think it was done very well. Mike Flanagan, Red Rum. There's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This was my last, one of my last uh, MCU pickups. That's why it's like up nine order, but uh, had to get that one. And then one of my other last ones is Incredible Hulk. Got this one in particular. Uh, this doesn't feel like an MCU film, but it is, so you, know, you gotta have it. All right, let's go through this shelf now. I'm gonna try to do this as soon as possible and try to make sure everything can be seen because it is dark down here and I apologize for that. The Last House on the left, this is the original one. Um, and then I have the remake version with The Strangers and A Perfect Getaway. Perfect Getaway is okay. I think that's very predictable. I got this mostly for The Strangers, but being that it has Last House on the left, you know, triple feature. Uh, the original one is better though. Lawless, um, nice little Tom Hardy and Shia LaBeouf film, nice steelbook as well. Legally Blonde 1 and 2, uh, Reese Witherspoon at her very best. Uh, I like the first one, the second one not so much. Leon the Professional, one of the first steelbooks that I got with Young Natalie Portman. Um, really good film, uh, Luke Besson film. Life of Pi, one of the best looking films I've ever seen. Um, such an amazing film by Ang Lee. Um, this should have won Best Picture, I think, the year it came out. I love Life of Pi so much. The Animated Lion King, which is uh, very nostalgic. You know, I like Lion King from the childhood. I think the live-action remake was a big miss, though. One of my favorite films ever, not just because it has Rooney Mara, but Lion has an incredible story about a little boy getting lost and then displaced. Lion is so amazing. What an amazing film. The Lobster. Uh... 
from the director of the favorite wonderful film so creative um so darkly funny as well the lobster the lord of the rings three film collection i love this film the theatrical release i love these films um yeah i don't need the extended version the theatrical is enough for me but these are peter jackson at his finest another sofia coppola film one that was very well praised bill murray scarlett johansson in lost in translation that's a classic actually at this point lost river ryan gosling's um film directing debut lost river is great i love lost river very Nicholas Winding Refn type film. Love in the Afternoon. One of the weaker Audrey Hepburn films, honestly, but uh, it's a Billy Wilder film. Uh, I like it uh, enough, to be honest. The Lore, a very sexy type monster slash mermaid type film. That's a musical. It's a foreign musical. If you haven't seen The Lure, go for it. The Machinist. Uh, Christian Bale went to great lengths uh, for this film. Got really skinny. It's a trippy film, but it's really well made. Another very well-made film that I like was Justin Curzel's Macbeth, which I, I really like the score. I love the book. It's my favorite Shakespeare, and I think this was a decent, pretty decent, but more visually stunning adaptation of it. Going along with The Grindhouse is Machete. I got that for pretty cheap. Um, Danny Trejo. I didn't like the sequel so much, but, um, you know, it's there. This one got mailed to my house by mistake. I do watch Mad Men. I like Mad Men. Um, I don't think I would ever own it, but this got mailed to me by mistake, so kept it <laughs> the final season part two of Mad Men. mad max fury road got this one pretty cheap um i have an unpopular opinion i think this one is vastly overrated it's not as good as people make it out to be it's not like a second coming of film and whatever it's the best mad max film but um i didn't, I didn't care that much for this it was a cheap black friday pickup magical mystery tour the beatles love it you know great soundtrack great music anything beatles i'm there Mamma Mia 2 film collection. I like the first one. Second one was okay. I like ABBA's music. That's mainly why I have this. Um, yeah, I like the music of ABBA. So, Mamma Mia. I forgot I had that though. The Man from Earth Holocene. So, here's the second one um, that I was thinking about. Uh, the Man from Earth Holocene. A lot of people don't like that one as much. But I thought it was a decent sequel. I'm glad it got a sequel. Matrix Trilogy. Uh, the first one is great. Reloaded is okay, very nostalgic. Revolutions, I still don't know what's going on. I gotta rewatch that. I'm not planning to anytime soon. Manchester by the Sea, Casey Affleck, Michelle Williams, really good um, film. Introduced us to Lucas Hedges as well, which is great. Another Sofia Coppola release, which was a. I had to wait a little bit to get this one, but Marie Antoinette, love that film, love Kirsten Dunst. A classic from childhood, Matilda. Who doesn't like Matilda? It's a classic. Meet the Parents, love this film. The awkwardness of this film is exactly what I would picture this scenario to be. Um, it's so funny, so incredibly funny. One of the best films I've seen Kirsten Dunst in, uh, Melancholia, Lars von Trier film. This is such a depressing but really well-made movie. Memento, Christopher Nolan's earlier film. Uh, this is a classic, great premise, um, very well written. The original, um, The Complete Metropolis. So this is like a restored version of the entire film. Um, love this film. Uh, it's fantastic. I love that they were able to restore so much of it. This is so good. Another really good film that I got for in, Midnight Cowboy from England. Um, really good Dustin Hoffman, John Voight film. One of the best performances from Kathy Bates is in Misery um, with James Caan. This is so good as well. Another Stephen King kind of adaptation, The Mist. The ending threw people, a lot of people off. A lot of people don't like the ending, but uh, it's a good film. This is Frank Darabont before he made Walking Dead and before it got really, really terrible, that show. Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times. Saw this one in a film class. Love it. You know, I have a great love for cinema of any generation, really. Aaron Sorkin's directorial debut was uh, Molly's Game. Really good film. Um, really um, edgy, kind of informative film about the poker scene, actually, which is different. I gotta move these out of the way because stuff is just breaking. Moon, uh, Duncan Jones film with Sam Rockwell. I love Sam Rockwell. I've always loved Sam Rockwell. This is one of his great performances before he got really big, won the Academy Awards and stuff. So, Moon, love that film. Love that sci fi it sets up. Mortal Kombat. Uh, 1 and 2. Annihilation is not that good. Mortal Kombat 1 is a guilty pleasure. Legacy, pretty good. Um, what they were trying to do with that one. Update it a little bit. 
My favorite film of all time, I think, is Mulholland Drive, and I have two releases of this. This is an England release that does not work here, but um, I thought the release was fantastic, so I just got it, and I was like, I'll keep it. And then the great thing was they released it on Criterion later that year. I love this film. Mulholland Drive is my favorite film of all time. I watched it the first time in film class, and I hated it, but afterwards, I just loved it. That's the hallmark of a good film. My Bloody Valentine 3D. Um, pretty good uh, modern day like Sasha film. A remake of an original version. Naked Gun Trilogy. Uh, Leslie Nielsen is very funny. You know, this film is hallmark him, really. Neon Demon. One of my other favorite films of all time. I have posters of this uh, Neon Demon in a few places in my room. I love Neon Demon. I love Elf Fanning. Nicholas Winding Refn's just fantastic in that. Nerve. Another pretty good film. Um... More stylistic than anything, Emma Roberts, Dave Franco, Nerve, kind of like a modern day teenager film. Night of the Living Dead, once this came out on Criterion, I got rid of the version that I had. Classic George A. Romero, every Halloween, well, Halloween months, this is something to watch. Along with this next one, the Nightmare on Elm Street series, all of them. I love Nightmare on Elm Street, love Freddy. Um, this has all seven features. A lot of them are pretty good. I'll find excuses to watch any of them and defend them. This one I can defend so much. The Nightmare on Elm Street remake, which I now have two copies of. But, um, yeah. No Country for Old Men, Joel and Ethan Cohen. Um, really fantastic film. Honestly, yeah. I like this film a lot. The ending kind of threw people off, but it's good. Nocturnal Animals. Uh, opening sequence is very weird. Um. Uh, be warned but amy adams jake gyllenhaal fantastic in this really good film by tom ford the designer nurse 3d a guilty pleasure with paz de la huerta every halloween i'll watch this it's like erotic type horror film speaking of erotic i have nymphomaniac volume one and two the extended director's cut Lars von trier um you know this is just very erotic type film but i like Lars von trier i like that film as well office space classic office type film very funny you know what more needs to be said about that? Mike Judge. Old Boy. Got this one on... This is the original Old Boy. Um, I don't like that new one with Elizabeth Olsen that much. But um, Old Boy got this one. It works in this country. It's a steel book. I got this in England. So I'm happy with that release. I'm also, I'm also happy to have the extended director's cut of Sergio Leone's Once Upon a Time in America. That's the only cut you need to watch because it's like the one that makes sense. Only God Forgives, another Nicholas Winding Refn. Um, I like this one. A lot of people don't. Uh, Ryan Gosling's in it. Love that one. He's one of my favorite actors. The other guys, very, very good um, comedy with Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. I think this comedy works in so many ways. All right, these last three right here. Paris, Texas. Uh, picked that one up recently. Criterion film. Really good film. Pan, which is absolutely horrible. I hate this film. I think this was just like a major disappointment, but Rooney Mara is in it, and I love her. And Oz the Great and Powerful. I like uh, Wizard of Oz. I thought Oz the Great and Powerful was okay. Sam Raimi film. Um, it worked in some stages. So now, the last roll I'm going to get to in a moment. So, final roll. Hope you've all stuck around. If you have, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate it. I know this quality of all this has sucked because, you know, I'm not very good at making these. But um, let's just power through and finish this, right? Suspiria, the remake. Um, I like this film. Uh, I thought it was Dakota Johnson's good in it. It's a different type of Suspiria. Not, like, not a lot like the first one, but it's really good. And here's the original one, which I love. I love the release of that one. Um, I'm trying to show a little bit of it. Well, I can with one hand. Look at this. Fantastic release. Love that film. Every Halloween month, I'll watch that. Stanley Kubrick's uh, Visionary Filmmaker. This is actually one of my first Blu-rays that I got in England. This has Lolita, which I love. Uh, I read the book as well. 2001 Space Odyssey, uh, absolute classic in the Marvel, in the sci-fi genre. Clockwork Orange, which I love. Read the book as well. Barry Lyndon, I also love that one. Love The Shining. Love Full Metal Jacket. Love Eyes Wide Shut. All of them. Stanley Kubrick. Fantastic director. This box set is amazing and a must-have. I think they have a U.S. release now, but, um, you know, that one works here, so why not? Terrence Malick's Tree of Life, which I absolutely love. Um, very experimental, but uh, absolutely visually stunning. Love the story. Love the way it's portrayed. Tree of Life had to get... The, I had the regular version, but I got the Criterion because there's, there's more to this one. There's, like, a different cut, I think, and it has, like, more in it, but I have not seen it yet, the, like, the extended cut or whatever. Terminator Anthology, I love Terminator so much. Um, 
I have some steel books here of Terminator. Let me move them out of the way. So I have Genesis, which absolutely is crap, but I'm a completionist. Um, this is sh complete shit. I hate this one. Um, Judgment Day is my favorite. I love Terminator 2. Judgment Day had to get the steel book because look at that. That is fantastic. And the anthology. So this has Terminator 3 as well and Salvation. Salvation was ambitious, um, it, but it worked for me. You know, it's fine. Okay. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original on Steelbook. Um, I quite like the Steelbook, so I had to pick it up. And Thor Ragnarok, also on Steelbook. One of the better Taika Waititi's um, update to Thor. Um, very funny. This one works very well. The Rocky films, all the heavyweight collection. Or the ultimate heavyweight collection. And two versions of Tomb Raider. So there's the original one that I have. This one is from England, so it doesn't work here. But it is a steel book that absolutely is fantastic. So I got this one in England. Just ignore the phone that's ringing. Tomb Raider. You know, I have to keep this one because this one does not work. But it is a nicer cover. And then I haven't had the heart to just like switch out the disc and just get rid of this. I don't know why. It's a different cover. That's why. I love Tomb Raider. Um, Alicia Vikander ones anyways. Start from the top. Oh, uh, so the Star Wars films. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Um, I have an R2-D2 right there, as you can see. Um, let me start from the beginning. Okay, so Phantom Menace. These are all the steel books. Phantom Menace, like it. Attack of the Clones, probably the worst one in the bunch, but still we'll make excuses for it. Uh, Revenge of the Sith, not bad. Uh, and again, becoming Darth, Darth Vader in that one. Um, let me see where the rest of the Star Wars are. They're like all over. Everything is all over the place here. I have all the Star Wars and Steelbook, and I pre-ordered the Rise of Skywalker, which I thought wasn't bad. Okay, so Phantom, A New Hope, um, the original, first, uh, the fourth episode, but the first one that was released. That one's great. Uh, Empire Strikes Back, a lot of people's favorites, fantastic film. And my favorite, however, is Return of the Sith. I mean, sorry, Return of the, Return of the Jedi, yes, sorry about that, but this is fantastic. Um, I like The Force Awakens a lot. Uh, I like Daisy Ridley a lot. I have a cardboard cutout if you can see it there. Um, yeah, Star Wars, The Force Awakens is fantastic. I have this Target release, which I actually hate. It's like too thin. Um, that's why I didn't go with the Target releases. The Steelbooks work just way better for me. Rogue One, a Star Wars story, you know, a uh, prequel to Star Wars, which works as well. The Last Jedi, uh, a lot of people had problems with Ryan Johnson's film here. I did not, and I really like the Steelbook. I like this film. I'm a Star Wars apologist. I'll do anything Star Wars. And Solo. Solo, Star Wars story. Fantastic film. Uh, not fantastic film, but like a good um, kind of Ron Howard type film. Um, you know, didn't do well in the box office, but I like it. So I have the Star Trek series all on Steelbook. Star Trek Into Darkness and Beyond. Beyond I didn't like as much, but these three are pretty good. Like J.J. Abrams type films. Spring Breakers. I hated this when I first saw it, but when I rewatched it, Harmony Corinne's film, um, Spring Breakers, you know, Hot Girls, Spring Breaking, why not? There's Spider-Man Homecoming, another MCU. That might be the last of the MCU. Who knows? There's probably something coming up. The original Spider-Man trilogy. Uh, I like this one. I like all three. I even like the third one. I don't really care what people say. Oh, I like that one. Straight Outta Compton. Nice biopic of uh, NWA. Um, it loses steam at the end, but still fantastic. My battery's about to die, so I'm going quicker. Stoker, uh, Mia Wasikowska. Uh, this is a this was a cheap release that I bought, like Walgreens or some Dollar Tree. Who knows? But um, I like that film. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original, and then Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the re the remake with Jessica Biel. I like that one. This one I, I can get rid of now because I have the other one, and I will put it aside because I will get rid of it. Ten Commandments, uh, Cecil B. DeMille's um, kind of like epic about Moses. It's a really good film. I like that film. I like the films like that. Uh, yeah, I, so I am a Taylor Swift fan, as you know. So I have Journey to Fearless, uh, kind of like a documentary of her in that time uh, during that album. And then the Speak Now World Tour with CD and Blu-ray. I, I like these quite a bit. Um, she has these films on Netflix as well, Miss Americana and the Reputation World Tour. I love anything Taylor Swift. If they were to release those on Blu-ray, that'd be fantastic. Just so I could complete everything there. Taxi Driver Steelbook, a wonderful looking steelbook of Martin Scorsese. One of his best films. I love this film. Another film that I love, Take Me Home Tonight. A uh, really good soundtrack. Really good feeling for this film. I like this film quite a bit. Suicide Squad, uh, absolutely horrendous. I wanted to like just return this Blu-ray, the Steelbook. This is terrible. I hate this film. Birds of Prey was uh, better, but nothing, I wasn't crazy about that either. 
another pretty terrible Zack Snyder film, which has a nice soundtrack, so I have this one. Um, you know, yeah, Sucker Punch is just... Yeah. Danny Boyle's Sunshine, which is tremendous. I love this film. This is one of the best, uh, you know, uh, space-type films. It, it, it kind of gets weird at the end, but I think this is amazing. It's very memorable. Sunset Boulevard, classic William Holden, Gloria Swanson. This is a typical Hollywood film of the 50s that is just tremendous. The Truman Show, another tremendous film. Um, just everything about this film is like real. The, I always think is real life like this, like where you're being taped and people are watching. I mean, Troll 1 and 2. Troll 1 is a decent type horror film. Troll 2 is just so bad it's good. Like one of the worst films of all time. One of the worst acted. That's why I have it. I love it. I love those type of films, as you can tell. Looks like a few steelbooks of Revenge of the Fallen, Dark of the Moon, and Transformers. All these Transformers steelbooks. Transformers, um, these are the only three that I like. You know, I like. Uh, they're kind of stupid at times. But um, the other two, Age of Extinction and Last Night, I don't care for at all. I will never get them. The Town, a really good Ben Affleck film. Um, I think it deserves more praise than it gets. Uh, really good film. Heist type film. The original Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Such a classic with Sharon Stone as well. Of course, everyone needs Titanic in their collection. Love that film. Um, very memorable. It was a sensation when it first came out. And The Thing. Uh, John Carpenter's Thing. This came with a nice poster as well. Alright, I'm going to get through this right now. Let's start with this. Phantom of the Opera at Royal Albert Hall. I love Phantom of the Opera, so I have the remake with Joe... Str I mean, the kind of like the film adaptation of it, which is such good music. This is also tremendous. Always get chills watching this. I love Phantom of the Opera. I've seen it once on Broadway here and once on West End in England. Love it. Brian De Palma film, erotic film, Passion. I like the red case on this, but I also like this film. Um, Brian De Palma is just fantastic. Perks of being a wallflower. Uh, Emma Watson, nice coming of age story. I have no problems with that. Personal shopper. Uh, Kristen Stewart is great in this. Um, I think she's a good actress when she needs to be. And Personal Shopper is fantastic. Phantom Thread, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis's last film. He's tremendous in this film all around. This is just such a memorable film. I want to watch it again. Pitch Perfect 3, don't like this one at all really. Just a completionist, so I had to complete it. Poultry Geese, Night of the Chicken Dead. This is such a stupid um, like B-movie release. like Kind of like horror, comedy, sex kind of thing. The Prestige, one of Nolan's best films of all time. Probably might be his best. I uh, love this film. When I saw it in cinemas, I was amazed by it. I like magic, so... Pretty Woman, one of the better uh, romantic th uh, romantic type films of all time. Richard Gere, Julia Roberts, of course, Pretty Woman. I love that film. And I also love Princess Bride. Um, I was thinking about getting a better edition of this, like a Criterion, but this is, for now, this will do. I like that one. Pulp Fiction, um, Quentin Tarantino at his very best. Incredible dialogue, incredible film. Incredible all around. Reanimator, another incredible horror film. Um, I like this film. It's a Lovecraftian film. Reanimator is amazing. The reader is great, uh, mostly because Kate Winslet is like naked half <laughs> the time, but she's actually tremendous in this. This is actually a pretty good film. Sorry, the video keeps cutting off because I keep pressing things, but um, here we go. Ready Player One, a Steven Spielberg film. I like this film. Um, some people had problems with it, but I thought it was ambitious. Um, I like what, it, what they did there. Requiem for a Dream, um, Darren Aronofsky's original drug tale. This is tremendous. Soundtrack score is tremendous. This is just a scary eye-opening film. Red Spiral and Steelbook. I like Jennifer Lawrence in this. This is kind of like uh, Atomic Blonde, but more serious, I would say. Uh, yeah, Red Spiral. Not a bad film at all. Rebecca. Um, I don't think this is in the Hitchcock collection as well. Saw this recently. Loved it. Criterion release. That's a really good film. Another really good film. Roman Polanski's Repulsion with Catherine Deneuve. Um, tremendous film. All around Repulsion. Like a thriller type film. Reservoir Dogs, I don't know what this is, but Reservoir Dogs in the Mondo release. Uh, I had to update this a few times as well, but finally the Mondo release was great. Quentin Tarantino's first film, he's tremendous. I have everything from him. Resident Evil Collection, I only like one and two. Uh, the rest is just, eh. I, I played uh, two in Nemesis as, as a kid, so this steel book was worth getting for that. Road Trip, um, pretty good comedy, raunchy comedy of the time, you know, the 90s, the 2000s, Todd Phillips right there. Rope. An immense film I've seen in film class. This is a uh, this is in that box set for Hitchcock, but I had to get this separately because Rope is modernized that long take, and Hitchcock is just tremendous in that film, film filmmaking wise. Uh, the Room. I told you I had The Room. Uh, had to get this. Tommy Wiseau. This is so bad it's good, but it's actually absolutely incredible because it is that bad. So quotable. 
Rosemary's Baby, a uh, Roman Polanski film. Uh, really good uh, film, Roman Polanski, uh, with, uh, I think it's Mia Farrow. Yeah. No, it's not Mia Farrow. What's her Is it Mia Farrow? What's her name? Yeah, it is Mia Farrow. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Wonderful film. Love that film. It's unnerving. <laughs> Royal Tenenbaums, my favorite Wes Anderson film. I think Gwyneth Paltrow is great in this. I think this is just fantastic. He, he's great in everything. I want to get Isle of Dogs. I just don't have it yet. The Runaways. Um, I, I, know, I know a lot of Jen, Joan Jett on guitar. Like, There's a few songs that I know by her on guitar. I need to rewatch this film, actually, but I got this mostly because of Dakota Fanning, and I thought the film was okay. Soundtrack's pretty good. Running Scared, uh, Paul Walker film. A um, lot of F-bombs in this film. Really good thriller, but so many F-bombs. Probably the most I've ever heard in a film. Rush Hour Trilogy. Not much needs to be said about this. This is tremendous. I love all three films. Chris Tucker, uh, Jackie Chan. If they made a four, I'd be down. Safe. Uh, wonderful film I've seen in film class. I haven't heard of it before that, but Todd Haynes getting his start. I don't know if it's his first film, but this is a tremendous Todd Haynes film. It is kind of unnerving. Safe is amazing. Julian Moore is fantastic in it. Saving Private Ryan, one of the best war films of all time. Steven Spielberg, um, very acclimated film, and it should be because this is wonderful war film. I'm in a mess of Blu-rays here, you see. Scarface, Steelbook. Uh, I got this one used. It has a scratch on there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe someone did cold coffee there. Who knows? But uh, <laughs> Scarface limited edition. Brian De Palma is great. Love those. Love, love that film. Um, so I have Scream, all of them. Scream 4, uh, Scream 3. I'm doing this out of order, I know. Scream 2, and Scream. They have a set of the first three films without the fourth. That's why I have them separately, because I didn't want to get that and just have four. I just had them. I just bought them at different times, and I just have them like that. Schindler's List, uh, Steven Spielberg film. Very emotional film. Very hard to watch at times, but I got this one for in edition. I know there's better editions, but whatever. Secret World of Ariadne. Um, this is... I like this film. It's not directed by Hayao Miyazaki, but it is Studio Ghibli film. I like this film so much. Um, I want to watch the other ones, but they've, they've been released in um, other countries on Netflix, not here, which is so annoying because I want to watch... There's so many of them that I want to watch. Secretary, um, kind of like an erotic film with Maggie Gyllenhaal. Uh, I like her. Um, I'm a big fan of her, um, so I have no problems with that. Seven, which is a really good David Fincher film. Not his best, I don't think. I think Zodiac is his best. However, this is a really nice digi book, and it is still a tremendous film. Another tremendous film, I think, is The Shallows, which is a good shark thriller. Um, and I like the lenticular of it. Uh, but Blake Lively showed that she has acting chops in that one. One of the best, the best David Steve McQueen film is Shame, uh, about Michael Fassbender, who has a sex addiction in that film. It's brilliant. That that is a brilliant film. Another brilliant film on Digibook, Shawshank Redemption. I, was, I forgot that I had this, actually, but this is a really good film. I've seen it two three times. Um, love it. Another really good Martin Scorsese film that doesn't get talked about as much is Shutter Island. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, wonderful film. Just so well acted. Um, I'm going to have to reorder all this now. I'm thinking about it. Side effects. Uh, Rooney Mara is the main reason I got this, but Steven Soderbergh is great in it. Nice little twist in it as well. I like this film quite a bit. Signs, uh, M. Night Shyamalan, not a bad film at all, I think, um, it's, the twist is kind of stupid, um, but, you know, alien film, M. Night Shyamalan at its peak. Silence of the Lambs, really good film, Jodie Foster is great in it, Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter. Silver Linings Playbook, uh, Jennifer Lawrence won the Oscar for this one, and it's a David O. Russell film, I, I, I really like this film, I think it's really great, it's sweet, you know. Single White Female, picked this up recently with, uh, Bridget Fonda, Jennifer Jason Lee. love this film, I like Jennifer Jason Lee in this film quite a bit. There's uh, The First Sin City. This is a foreign release. The reason I got this is that red case. Uh, it works here, obviously. Robert Rodriguez is great in that it's stylistic comic book Frank Miller. Simpsons movie. I love The Simpsons, uh, even though the show has gone downhill. I've seen every episode, and I think this movie was really good. If you like Simpsons, you should have it. Sisters, a really good uh, Brian De Palma film. Really trippy. Uh, I watched this last Halloween as well, and the year before. I like that one. I had to get this one from England, Sleeping Beauty. Emily Browning is so hot in this. Um, it's a very weird film. I don't know if I'd recommend it for everybody, but uh, it works here. Uh, and I love Emily Browning. Sleepy Hollow, Steelbook. I think this is a really good Steelbook. Even though I have like this in a four-pack, Sleeping Sleepy Hollow. Yes. Uh, picked this one up recently. I love that film. One of, That's probably my favorite Tim Burton films. And now we're finishing off with Species. Um, yeah, I got this one really cheap. 
uh, she, I think her name is Natasha Henstridge, but she's pretty sexy in this. This is a nice little sci-fi film. Song to Song, Terrence Malick film with Rooney Mara and Natalie Portman. So obviously I had to get Anne Ryan Gosling and Michael Fassbender. This is a tremendous cast, a uh, tremendous film. I love this film. Another Sofia Coppola film, Somewhere, with uh, Elle Fanning when she's younger. But um, this is a really good film, very memorable. Um, I like Sofia Coppola so much. Last but definitely not least is David Fincher's Social Network which is a weird packaging, but Social Network is amazing. Deserves all the praise that it gets. Um, and that is it. That was the entire Blu-ray collection. I'm going to try to put all this together. Uh, put it into one video at least. And thank you for watching. We'll have an update again next year. And you give me your comments uh, if you think my collection was good. If there's any titles, any questions that you have, I'd love to, you know, talk, talk film. Thank you.